Right, welcome to the ministry in this 2,000 point ITC practice game with Ricky from Majority T3. Hello Ricky. Hi friends. Just back from hosting SummerSlam, yeah. which went ridiculously well, I would say. I was helping out, I wasn't playing, but it was a great turnout and some epic games. And Mr. Crumble home won, didn't he? We took away the belt, an actual championship belt. It did. So we'll get, we'll get some links and send us some pictures yeah, and we'll put yeah. them on. Sure um, and Ricky's obviously got tournament games in his blood. He's a dick that he's hooked. So he's going to do some practice because he's going back to London this year. Um, and he's took his filthy demon soup list. Um, it's not that bad. Well, it's in many incarnations. I think it's doing well. But what he wants to do is he wants to try it against lots of different stuff. Um, new Marine Codex has dropped. So we're going to try it against a new Marine list. Which we're going to use Ultra Marines because it seems to be the best of the supplements at the minute, I think, that are out. Um, so quick look at the scenery. We'll point out the stuff. So this has come from the mission pack. From the rough layout, so the ground oh, floors, nice. yeah, ground floors we can't see through. The creators, a lad cover if you're in them and on the on thingy. Obviously, it's a bit bare normally, but we'll have to make it like equal to both players mm -hmm. or fair to both players as opposed to pretty. Um, so these will be a minus two to charge through standard creator rules on the plus one cover. Mm -hmm. Line of sight blocking on the ground floor, bit of line of sight in the middle, lots of L shaped type stuff all around. Obviously, you can get up and down on these things, up and down on this thing. Um, we're not going to give cover if you're on them equally we'll not give cover on this one because it's just supposed to be like a hill type thing isn't yeah, it yeah, no yeah so no cover on this one but cover in the ruins doesn't really matter to me I don't need cover. well no you've <laughs> not got many guns it just means for me like if I took that side trying to think like it, just, you, it straight away you'd want to chuck some marines in the top oh, as definitely. a fire nest but it's not going to supply any cover no. so with that we'll take a look at the armies and see what we've got so here's Ricky's Rainbow Force. Let's run um, through it. Yeah, man, go for it. Right, so you got um, it's three battalions, but they're mixed demons in the um single Nurgle one. So you've got uh, three units of three Nurglings there. Yeah. You've got twenty Zangos, nineteen Zangos, sorry, eighteen Zangos, ten Zangos. Yeah. Demon Prince Zinch. Yeah. Uh, Demon Prince of Corn with a Skull Reaver axe. Um, contorted Epitome with a Forbidden Gem. Got 26 blood letters. Banner of blood. Yes, indeed. Um, Poxbringer, Sloppy Bile Piper, two units of 30 Plague Bearers, um, and I'm forgetting to set them up. Harry Man. And Araman <laughs> on foot in the back there. Not on his disc, no. Nah, couldn't find the points. It's a bit better on foot, you can get cover. You can. You don't have to count as infantry, but not as much movement if you need him to zip around and get places, but. Pros and cons to everything, isn't yep. it? Pros and cons. So, and say I've, you might drop a couple of zangos or something to get the disc yeah, of it maybe, if you find maybe. out you need it. But, but I so I've, I've spent a lot on relics and deep striking things, so they'll be they'll be deep striking, they're deep striking, and there's additional relics on a couple of characters, so I'm down to 13 command points for that army. Yeah, so we'll go over the relics and stuff in game because obviously Ricky's he's optimized them as much as he can. I can, take, I can do it now. If you want. Oh, go on and go for the relics just so people know yeah. what you've got. So forbidden gem on the mirror, that is um three D six and beat a character's leadership to stop them acting for a phase. Yeah. Which also stops the buffs. Yeah, and the range of that is six inches. Six inches. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got the um, dark matter crystal to jump the Zangos forward or yeah. onto an objective I need be. And then I've got the Skull Reaver Axe, which is um, Brutal. <laughs> it's just brutal. Yeah. We'll cover that yeah, if cover when he gets when in combat. Yeah. And then uh, obviously Banner of Blood, which is 3D6 on the we'll charge, charge for them. Yeah. And then that's it. Nice, nice. Right, we'll go over here. Humming and Hordo, a few stuff, but well, I'm, I'm going to try some things out. Because um, like I said, there's no Lieutenant in here, which I would ultimately probably put in. Um, anyway, we'll go over it. So we've got a Battalion, a Vanguard, and a Spearhead. So for the characters, we've got Kalgar. Um, we'll just do Tigarius, Tiggy. So obviously he's been primorisified now as well. Um, and his powers he's going to have Null Zone, Might of Heroes, and I think it's Psychic Fortress, the other one that's the uh, Ignore Mortal Wounds on a 5-up type thing. Yeah. And Because obviously he knows Smite as well. And then the three troops choices, we've got some... I've just totally forgot everybody's name now. <laughs> um, Infiltrator. Infiltrator, the guys that give the 12-inch no deep strike bubble. Two units of five of those. And you had 10 intercessors with the old old bolt rifles and the sergeant's got a power fist upgrade. And then we've got the vanguard detachment. So let's say Chaplain Cassius, who can do two litanies now, which seems to be quite good. And we'll see how that turns out anyway. We've got a normal apothecary and we've got a 
normal, he's not praying more, so we've got a normal guy with a banner. Mm -hmm. And we'll give him, obviously his banner is normally six inches, but it's boosted to nine because he's an old marine. Yes. Um, so they'll all get like plus one leadership and they can come back up on a four more. What I'm also going to do is give him, I thought it was a banner, but it's not. It's the reliquity of Galathamore. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Oh, it's not. I just checked it before and I can't even remember what it is. Basically, any psychers with an 8 inch get a minus 1 cast. Mm -hmm. And if they fail the cast, it's not a perils, but they're on a 4 up, they take D3 mortal wounds. So it's a bit of a, a psychic negative because the idea is they're gonna. I'm not going to sit back. There's going to be elements of this that push forward. Because mm -hmm. um, like I said, I didn't want to make a list knowing exactly what you've got. I had an idea, to be fair. But I wanted to make a list that would tackle lots of stuff. And coming from majority of SummerSlam, mm -hmm. Big horde armies seem to do quite well, didn't they? They seem Trolls. to be the new hotness. So do you see like cults control across the board? Yeah. I normally run Death Watch, you can probably tell by the colours and stuff. I think Iron Hands are gonna be good, but all Marines yeah, we'll try the supplement for the old Marines. So that's that or the aggressors or the third elite choice there. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the heavy choice. So this is where it gets a bit gamey. Which is some good little things that Ricky sort of loves this kind of stuff. Like you, so we're gonna take Kronos as the HQ. Now in the book you don't have to buy a tank for him yet. So with that, the three heavy supports are going to be a Thunderfire Cannon, a squad of three Eliminators, and the guy's got the bow Carbine, mm -hmm. so they can do the runaway, if yeah, you yeah. come and get them type stuff. And they've got the normal sniper rifles, not the last fusil, and then a Crusader with an extra Storm Bolter on. And then what you do, you used to have to buy the tank together for him. Yeah. Now you can add him to a tank, but because I think that's probably, I'm not sure if that's correct or not, I've added a Whirlwind just to try out, just in case. So I do have three anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, I have four. But three if he has to be in HQ, so the points are fine. And if it's wrong, it's right. If it's right, then I would probably drop the whirlwind, which we talked about, yeah. and up these guys to a 10 man squad with Stoker bolt rifles or normal intercessors yeah. for the rapid fire strat for just loads and loads of DACA. Mm -hmm. um, or get something else like a lieutenant and add another guy here. Something like that. That's probably what I would have done if you didn't need to do that. But I'm going to keep it that way for now just to make sure it's legit. Yeah. And because this guy hasn't got, we're talking about getting game, he hasn't got a listed warlord trait. Oh. I'm going to pay a CP to make him a hero of the chapter, which he already is, mm -hmm. and give him a warlord trait, and we're going to give him Paragon of War. Mm -hmm. So on six is to hit. He's going to go in here, of course, Mortal Wounds in addition. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine him in that. <laughs> it's, I think it's equally just as bad, but there's so <laughs> many guns thrown out on that. Totally. So basically, Cronus is going to go in there, and there's lots of stuff he can do. The litanies I give this guy... So basically the chaplains don't auto hit anymore, they auto reroll hit, they have to do it to start the battle round, so they get the one where they can reroll failed hits for anyone in combat. Yeah. And then, because this guy gets two and he can make two active, I've picked, the start of the battle round you can pick on a three up obviously to go off, you can pick a unit within six of them, and that unit can add one to the wound roll. Yes. So I could take this guy and then he'd be, it's not an unmodified six, in no, the thing. he'd sort of be on five ups, he causes yeah. mortal wound in addition. Indeed. And the other one is you can add one to the hit roll, and it's not in close combat, it's in anything. So I probably wouldn't put it on this guy, because he's hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. But I might put it on this type of repulsor hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. Well, is it not a, um, it's not an aura, is it? So you couldn't affect both. No, you pick a pick unit, it says pick a unit, yeah. So that would be horrid. That if would be was, broken. If it was that would literally be broken, because you could literally just push everything together with him in the middle. And everything would be adding one to the hit and wound rolls. <laughs> or getting the in run against the psychic, which is under psychic power. Yeah. It'd, be, it'd be horrific. As it is, I've got lots and lots of that and lots of options. I've got 11 command points to play with. Calgar is the warlord, so on a five up, I'll get a command point back. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, he doesn't count as a warlord, but he's a character with 100 wounds and a land raider, pretty much, and a two of armor. <laughs> yeah. So, and the idea is, you know, this guy, because he can cast two, deny two, um, and he can pick a unit to be minus one to hit. And it's not just the shooting phase now, which we looked at, mm -hmm. it's flat hey, yeah. till the end of the battle round. So my idea is I'll maybe push one of the tanks forward to soak up a lot of smitage with a banner very close behind to give a minus one to the casting ability, mm -hmm. cast the power on him. I could give him the litany to make it four ups, ignore mortal wounds, which would be another good one, a defensive one. Yeah. But I just think the idea for this list is these guys are hovering around the flanks to stop any deep strike. Mm -hmm. From turn two with the being ultra means nobody will get any minuses to move and fire with their weapons. Mm -hmm. So it's very much a stay still early and then just push out and see what damage we can do and take control of the board. I'm pleased you're telling us again. Well, Riggy, Riggy knows that I want. Well, that's, a, that's the practice against it, isn't it? It's more like how you can respond to this kind of stuff. So I think what I've tried to do is put in units that I think people will use a lot of. And these are expensive. But I think the ability to stop you deep striking, basically within charge range. I know your bloodletters could do it. Yeah. Because they've got 3d6. But that's 
worth gold for the way the army works. You're literally going to screen your army. I'll probably make loads of mistakes because I've not used them before. Mm -hmm. And I think the more and more you use it, you refine it out and take stuff out oh, and to literally yeah. make a moving. I think they'd work better now as a moving castle, especially from turn one, do loads of damage. Turn two, just move around together. Mm -hmm. I don't even think you need Gilliman. I did have him in an original list and I took him out because I thought he's great for the reroll ones on wounds, which I think is the 100% the right choice, not the full reroll. Mm -hmm. Reroll ones is fantastic enough. But I think 350 points and the fact you'd have to buy him in a Supreme Command now because he, he was taken as an auxiliary, he wouldn't benefit from his chapter tactics. Yeah. Which is fair enough because every other codex does that. So, mm -hmm. anyway, being ITC, I think we'll have to choose secondaries. We'll go over them later. We'll go over the mission when we get it down and set up. I think it's cut to the head, so it'll be like one objective each set up, pretty heart. much cut to the heart, and yeah. one in the middle. One in the middle, one each uh, deployment. And then, yeah, so it is. Guns on this, sorry, I think the only thing that's not WYSIWYG is this is the Gatling gun. But it's oh, got. Take it off. I wouldn't, I wouldn't normally have a twin lads. I would normally give it the twin heavy bolter, yeah. just because I think I'd make it a pure Daka tank. But like I said, I've got to have stuff in that I think could maybe damage bigger targets. With the strats and the idea going off is with a plus one to wound roll and all that kind of stuff, this guy would be wounding knights on fives or fours. Mm -hmm. If I get to go off with him, fives with these bolters, fours, and causing mortal wounds on the far and the on the sixes and stuff. So I just think that's good enough. Mm. I probably wouldn't, or like I said, I'd maybe drop these guys 85 points. Maybe he's even the apothecary 100 and odd points. Keep the last can on that, get some like sort of devastator type unit mm -hmm. and the lieutenant. Cheap devastator with a couple of bits in. Centurions. Centurions would be very good, but I didn't want to put them in this disc. I, th I think, fingers crossed, I should have enough dagger. Yeah. So I'm excited for this one. I've not played Ricky in years, and no matter what happens, it's going to be a good game. I think it's going to be a good laugh. Definitely. So let's get rocking. So Ricky's lucky cat there. We're just going to go over the three <laughs> that he's took secondly. He's got King of the Hill. Headhunter, so a point for each character killed, and engineers is basically when a unit sits on an objective and doesn't do anything, it scores a bonus point. Great for Nurglings. And um, King of the Hills, the end of the battle round, isn't it? Being basically in the middle of the table, scores points, which his army should be. I've went for Pick Your Poison, um, where you nominate units that have certain keywords. We've gone through it with Ricky, so we'll just say which ones they are, because you can't pick the same guy, so obviously you pick a Psyche, someone will fly, some monster. Uh, so that's Pick Your Poison. Reapers kill 20 models, and Kingslayer. Because he's got a lot of characters with multiple wounds, I thought if I can keep tickling wounds off, and keep scoring secondaries. Because I've yeah. got snipers, I've got tactics and strats and all that kind of stuff to do that. So it's worth it there. So the armies are set up. Here's Ricky's deployment. Oops, sorry, I forgot them. That's all right, they're in. Obviously the Nurgles can set up as long as they're not, I think say nine inches out of an enemy deployment or something like that. It's weird. But anyway, Ricky's objective there is on the ground floor. All the objectives have to be ground floor. That one, the bonus point for this game is if I control this one and this one, and if Ricky controls that one and that one, he gets a bonus point. And as you can see, the Marines had to set up first because Ricky, Ricky won the roll off, and I have to go first. So we spread out, literally, this looks dangerous, but trust us, there's been lots of careful measuring. These guys deny deep strikes within 12, and there's a right uh, whirlwind there, so this whole area looks like you could drop stuff in, but you can't. So this is all being neglected. There's 10 guys in here with the auto bolt rifles, bit of a castle here, couple of units here. Staying still, uh, these are the guys with the what the gold man, the heavy guns, yeah. the boat stoker boat rifles. Then we've got another unit here within three of that because they scored at the end of the player turn for holding objectives. I want to be sitting on two, and these guys just out here. Um, the second floors of all the ruins as well. So, first and second floors, according to the map, aren't, aren't visible through. And the third floor, if it's three floor rooms, have a standing bit where you can stand on. So obviously the only really place I could fit if I was going to stand up somewhere would be up here. Maybe squeeze up there, up here. Or they could I have to be nine inches out with deployments. So I couldn't even go over there. I could have fit over there. Where? Over there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, well, it's outside of my deployment. That's me deployment. Because I would have maybe put them in the top corner of that building there. Yeah. Because that would have given them good line of sight across your whole deployment zone. Well, it's I too keep, late now. Yeah, too late now. We'll leave them where they are. <laughs> it's just because obviously when Ricky's nah, busy. No, nah, no, we'll leave it. We'll leave it because people make mistakes in deployment. But looking at it now, well, thing, I would definitely put them there to give them good line of sight right down here. So, anyway, the way they are, they're providing a screen anyway for stuff dropping in down here, um, which probably isn't needed much because he's just going to start advancing through. So, I've got 11 command points to play with. Ricky's got 13, I believe. I have to go first. I would probably choose for you to go first if I could. Yes, but, um, would. Right, let's go into Space Marines, turn one.
movements done. These guys have just touched back to put the tank closest to smite unless Ricky's going to come down this way. Um, these have all stayed still, stayed still. A little push up here, the land radar I've checked, couldn't see these guys line of sight. And he would just be just out of range, careful measurement from Ricky and his deployment over there. Or the litanies, I forgot to say, both went off, so plus one to hit roll and plus one to wound roll are both going on the repulsor. Because we knew this guy was out, which is, that's the play to get him in basically. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else has stood still, so the doctrines in effect will be the heavy one. Which will be these guys on the stoker bolt rifles, these guys on the snipers, obviously the thunderfire and this doesn't make a world of difference to you because you're pretty much running in runs on the demons. Yep. So with that we're going to the psychic phase. We'll have to measure for this guy to see what's in range. Um I'm guessing not much, because you can't see the Nurglings. Um Well what we'll that's, do that's good video. <laughs> um, we'll do the cont um, have contempt on this or whatever it's called. It's a five up now to give it ignores, and you can re-roll. So I'll re-roll both. Seven. Yeah. Are you? you I, I'm out of denial. Just out of deny. So he's he's okay. Your fighters in here, aren't you? Yeah, he's miles away, just yeah. down here. Um, I'm wondering if I shouldn't mate if he rolls it. Do you have any ranged weapons? Is it just a bolter? Just a bolter and armament. So watch out. Is there any power and risk in it? Do you know? You could perils and take two D three more. He wounds. gets the reroll. He doesn't just reroll one. He gets a reroll field psychic tests. Yeah, but you could perils on the reroll. Could. Is it worth it? I do you know? That's what I'm thinking. Tactically, I don't really think it is. You've got no guns. It's not going to stop smite. The stuff that'll stop smite's on it. Yeah. Like the mortal woundage. Um, realistically, unless you do those zangos hop over, you're going to get nothing in combat turn one. Probably so. No, I'm going to leave it for now and just rock with it as it is. Um, choice. And I think that's it. And then we'll move into the shooting phase. So there's not going to be a lot this turn because obviously not a lot in range. So we'll measure up. The key ones are probably going to be like the Thunderfire and the Whirlwind, which are probably the things I can see. These guys are within range of these like Nurglings because they're 36. The Nurglings, sorry, the Plague Bearers. The Repulsor is in range because some of its guns are a bit longer range, a bit better than the Land. It was positioned a bit better than the Land Reader basically. Mm -hmm. And these guys, and I'm not sure if these guys can see any characters, probably see some, maybe some demon wings or something, but we'll have to have a look. Mm -hmm. Maybe. So we'll let Ricky choose, because obviously it's his practice game, so we don't want to, we don't want to do them over. But, um, right, we'll start off how we mean to continue. We're going to put the Thunderfire Cannon with a strat into the Zangos. Into them? Yeah, so we'll mark a CP off for me, please. Yes, sir. And then on a five up, we'll get it back. Yeah, yeah, take it off. Done. Right. And then... 43 shots. Excuse me. Oh. Wow. Right, okay. <laughs> 11. I'm going to pause this and get some dice. Right, we're looking for threes to hit. I'll take that. Right, so they are minus, they're half moved, half charge, half advance. Yeah. That's the big squad, because the other big squad's in deep strike somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then this many would be wounding on threes normally, now it's fours because it's minus one to the wound roll. Okay. So we've got one, two, three at minus two. Three. Yep. Uh, straight the invents of five ups. Uh, two die. So two are dead. And we're going to do, there is a strat to fire twice, but we're going to do the will. I don't think you have to use it straight away, according to the word, and I think you can just choose to. I don't know. If it is, we'll see, because that'll make a big difference. Okay. Um, but next, we're going to go into the whirlwind. I'm going to take some shots at. How many tangos did I just kill? Two. Right, but the effect's what I'm after, that's fine. Because they can yeah. they can dark matter crystal hop and the other unit is the 10 man, isn't it? So I can deal with the 10 man. Yeah. Right, we'll do the whirlwind into the same yeah. unit. Same unit? No, I need to kill something, don't I? You do. Nurglings are four wounds a model. 12 wounds, yep. 18 wounds left in there. Really? Yeah, take two CPs off. Two, I'll pause it. Take two <laughs> CPs off. I'll do the fire again on the whirlwind. Because yeah. I think... It'll get more shots. Okay. Because that, like we were saying before, I don't think the strat will work on the second shot. Because I would pick another unit, which I think is wrong. Because they changed all the Hellfire shots in the so you only get to use it once. Which, otherwise you'd have a Thunderfire cannon doing like half movement, half movement, half movement yeah, on everything. Exactly. So I'll roll 46 for this. Okay, are you recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Good man. So, 8. And that was a 5. I'll get some more dice. Right, we're looking for 3s to hit. Get rid of these guys, and we're looking for strength seven threes. threes. Oh, that was Ooh, pretty bad. That was good. No, just three. Just three. Uh, minus two again makes no difference. So five ups. You made one. two drops. One of them. 
about as good as I could have done anyway. I see if I get those CP back for the strat, I do, so. Yeah, get one. Get one of them back, yeah, you can't get both. Right, we'll have to have a look and see what other guns are in range, because there's these guys. I don't know what they can see. These guys, yeah, pretty much. Well, we'll have a look and we'll come back soon and see, because obviously the Repulse has got some guns as well. Might do him off camera, because I don't think you can see much good stuff. Over of what we did, right, I so. Auto pass, so. Uh, I know Rick's going to spend points here, which is what I wanted him to do. But, um, so basically nothing over here really could fire or do anything. The whirlwind, apart from a bit of whiffy infantry, I should have probably went for the Nurglands. But even then, it's 12 wounds to get through. I probably wouldn't have killed a unit. This guy killed, obviously the plus one hit, plus one wound was really good. But Ricky made amazing rolls on his saves, let's be honest, didn't he? He saved about more than half, yeah. literally more than half. Um, and the disgusting's come in, so I think we killed eight or something plague bearers. Yeah, so he's totally. going to spend his two points to auto pass. I am. Then the shot of the round really was these guys. Hummed and hard, I was like, there's no point shooting a Dean Prince, I don't think I'm going to do anything. And then remember, this guy, if he doesn't shoot, I'd want to hit and wound roll. Yeah. So they both went and shot the Demon Prince, they both hit. They both wounded, one rolled a six to wound. I used the CP, which I got back, so you need to mark the CP off us, yeah. to reroll one of the wound rolls, which then wounded on a five. Ricky failed both of his saves, and I caused five more damage, plus some more wounds, six wounds on the Demon Prince, which... I didn't expect at all. I don't think Ricky was expecting that either. Because that gets me... Is that three points on my secondaries or something? Probably uh, two wounds or something like that. Two wounds off a character, yeah. So yeah. you got... Uh, three points for wounding a character. Which is better than I thought I would score this round, to be fair. Yeah. I would... You know what's really silly is what would I say I was tempted to do at the start? Which I wish I'd maybe done now. Mm. No, but I'm a bombing for three. Yeah. And maybe try and rinse some wounds off some of the characters. Sure. Nah. Where's the point? The thing, it sort of, if it pays off and does stuff, it would have been good because it would have maybe tickled a few of them and you'd have maybe hummed and hard about what, what to do. Exactly, yeah. but I couldn't expect a roll like that. If I knew that was going to happen, I would have definitely done it. Uh, but anyway, we're moving to Ricky's turn two, so not a great turn for the Marines, but we are sitting on two of the objectives. This is my turn one. So, no, we're going to discount your turn for being cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky's turn one and see what he can do. Obviously, the reason if people are wondering why I hit these guys with the strap is because the Dark Matter Crystal can let them jump across the board, obviously nine inches away from someone in charge, but now they're going to be no charge. Actually, really leadership for them as well. Four. Hang on, he killed three or something. Yeah, definitely. So they're good. So Ricky's dropping 11 command points now. We spent a few. Turn one. Let's see where he ends up. Just we've got to remember, this guy's now dodging mortal wounds if he's the closest. He might not be. Depends where Ricky moves, but uh, we've got to eat this turn and then hopefully do our damage next turn. So Ricky's done. Um, he was going to chess clock the day, but he knows his stuff anyway. He's pretty good with this. And to be honest, I'm the one that's a bit of a newbie here with a new codex. There's a lot for me to think about and use. So it's not. It's not really fair. Plus, it's not. It's not for my benefit. It would be for me opponent. Yeah, yeah. No, that's um, you, you've played enough tournament games. You know your speed anyway. So anyway, these pushed forward and advanced. They're basically, an advance forward and a shuffle around. Um, Ricky knows he's got no gun really. So it's all about his psychic phase. So we'll get it. We'll get bits of it on camera because he's got a spreadsheet. <laughs> I haven't actually I'm not in for anything not? so I've just got three to cast so All right. just, um, yeah we'll do because that's how his army works it's basically psychic phase is dominant yep. shoots over his so I'll cast the additional minus one to hit onto this squad what we're going to do we'll see if I'm in range of any for the nice. so it doesn't look like it nah no in range of the, the probably, probably deny the mirror right the mirror's in range this guy why he's lying down he's on the bottom floor just yep. to make it easier for people uh, for us to know yep. So, so a minus one from those guys from the guy in the bottom floor. Yep, it goes. Goes off. So uh, be next, the uh, Warlord Demon Prince will cast Gears of Fate, which is a free reroll. Free reroll. Which uh, goes with a plus one. Yep. For uh, High Magistar, his Warlord trait. And then uh, the Mirror will just cast a Smite onto him. Uh, that's cocked. So it goes I off on a 10. I might as well try. That's on an 11. 11. Well, well I might as well try because he gets a plus one yeah, and he's deny off. now. So it doesn't deny. I don't yeah. think he can den reroll denies. I Good. think it's just failed psychic test, so I'm not going to try anyway. So it's me, so I'll take a D6 for 5 on the tank. D6 mortal? Yeah. Because it was 11, wasn't it? So yeah. um, 5 mortal wounds, but on 4s, because I might say defense, it's going to ignore them. So I'm looking for, was it 5? Yeah. 5 4 ups would be nice. No, we'll ignore 1, so he's took 4, down to 12. Nice. Good start. Right. I think that's it. I think that's me. So you don't, you hold, you don't hold more. I hold one. But I hold more, so I get the point for holding more. Yeah. Uh, we didn't kill anything. We didn't kill more. No one gets that. And in terms of these other cards, you will get engineers. Yeah, no, it's from the second turn. Is right? it from the second turn? You'll keep me, right? So I think I'm in the lead. Yeah, you're in the lead. 3-1 or uh, something. Or 3-4-1. 5-1. Five, 5-1, one. Five, one. Five, one. okay. That's a decent lead. I didn't expect that. I knew this is how yours works, so it doesn't score a lot early on. Yeah. 
but it will absolutely screw yeah i've got to be careful because if i leave you gaps you'll totally exploit them yeah. which is what i'm scared of doing so i'll move into marine turn two <laughs> right so we'll skip over a bit of stuff there because we'll go through the litanies i tried the re i i want to hit didn't go off command re-rolled it uh didn't get the command point back so it's gone off and the i'd want a wound has went off so I've added the one to hit on the Repulsor and the one to wound on the Crusader, but it turns out the Crusader's not got much in range anyway. And um, these guys have stayed still. I don't have to now because the Tactical Doctrine's in effect, and when that's in effect, basically the Ultimarine's count is not moving, which is fantastic, really. So these guys have sort of stepped up a little bit. Everything's got to push into the middle to start to hold this and put a lot of weight of fire into Ricky. It looks like there's massive gaps here, but again, lots of careful measuring. There's not, because this unit here is still denying to 12. And this is the 98, so this whole middle section is still out of play, mm -hmm. which is really good. I think that's why these guys shine. Um, so this turn we've done the, I keep forgetting it, the four up deny and auto pass morale thingy on these guys anyway. That went off, Ricky tried to deny and failed. Um, and then we tried the smite, which we've just talked about, he denied on a double six. So what's happened in the movement phase, like I said, these guys disembarked and got out. Now they've got the auto bolt rifles, which we're going to go on to shortly. This tank popped up here because it's very safe and it can all of a sudden see lots of things if this unit dies. And then like we said, these have come around. The tech marine just moved around a little bit to help that nine inch bubble. Right, so we're gonna go into the shooting phase and I'm gonna start, yeah. So start your shooting phase and we're gonna spend uh, two command points on them to give them a four up in run. Right, to boost that in run yeah. save, yeah. And an additional two command points on that character so I'll re-roll ones and we feel no pain within six Okay, Okie dokie, so you're down to... I'm down to seven. Seven CP. Right, so we're going to play the strat on these guys. That lets them, because they are within 12 inches now, auto hit. So there's 10 auto bolt rifles. That's 30 <laughs> shots. Auto hitting. I can reroll because Calgar's there, and I'm not going to. So we've got 30 shots. Unfortunately, what would have been sick is if I used the chaplain on them for the add one to wound roll, but they were in the tank at the start yeah, of the battle round, so you can't. Know. Next turn, potentially. No, they're going to die. Next, next turn, turn, potentially. So, yeah, they're going to be a good target for Ricky. So we're going to go on to that. I'm going to get loads of dice, roll them, and then we'll see what happens. And then over the other side, we're going to probably go with the Crusader to finish them off, see what happens. But, um, right, we'll start with that. <laughs> I just need lots of dice. We'll see what happens. So quick maths, bang average, 15 wounds, wounding on a four. So Ricky's improved his in-run, so he's on four-ups. Oh, that is terrible. Considering how you roll turn one, that is terrible. That's but terrific. you've got five up, ignore, and an add. We roll one on this. Yep. That's more like it. Couple of ones in yeah. there. So, so one three, so far. Uh, three. Three out of that. Three out of 30. How did that work? Woo. Three out of 15. You said you were all bad. What's going on there? <laughs> Converted it, mate. You, did, you didn't roll 15 dice. No, we're kidding. Right, the, we're, the, aggressors, the aggressors are going against the same target. These don't count as moving. So basically, they've got 12 shots each plus two of the grenade packs. So we'll roll and see how many shots we get. Uh, so an extra 5, 10, 15. So lots. So we'll roll these off camera. Again, they'll now be hitting on fives because you're minus two. But Calgar lets them re-roll hit dice, not just failed. So we'll see how many hits we'll get and wounds. Right, so... Done some shooting in the middle. Ricky's obviously those CPs have been well spent. And four up in runs have come in very handy. They're obviously thinned out quite a lot. Um, but it took a lot of work. The aggressors have pumped in. Obviously, they'll be hitting on fives, but could reroll because of Calgar. Still got lots of hits and wounds through, but lots and lots of four up in runs made, which is what Ricky wants. His bum's going like a rabbit's nose. Because nah. once once they're gone, cool. Cool once they're gone, it's just characters left really. So we haven't shot with any stuff over here. So, or even the tank or anything, yeah, but what's probably going to happen is this guy's probably going to put the hurricane bolt as in storm bolt that into those guys and probably put the assault cannon that way because yeah. he's on the plus one wound and he's got the paragon of war. Or does he go everything into them? Mm, mm. That, yeah, everything into them. Yeah. Because you'll be causing mortal wounds on a five and a six. Okay. So I think I'm going to have to do that. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's still where with the minuses to hit. 11, 12. It's on the wound roll, paragon. Oh, that's wound. It's on a six, Sorry. on a wound roll of a six plus. But you get a plus, plus one. So we'll do do the assault cannon on camera and we'll do all the other ones off. But we're going, so, going all into the plague bearers. So you'll be hitting on fours because yeah. I'm minus two. That's for the phase. That's not bad. Still good. That's pretty good. And we'll be wounding on threes normally, twos now, and fives and sixes will be mortal wounds. Okay. So that's pretty shit. <laughs> but we've got one mortal wound. Yep. Yeah. Plus, plus five. Yeah. So yeah, so the 
So five four ups. Five four ups first. And then four feel no pains. Yeah. Nice, so he's not four down. Ones. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So he's not two down with an assault cannon. We'll do the hurricane ball as off camera, there's just too many dice. So the hurricane ball has not been in rapid fire, we've got five more wounds on that unit plus two mortals. So yep. five four ups. Nice. And then two more. Yeah. Five ups. Oh, Riggy. Oh, Riggy roll. He was five and six is coming in. Um, I think that's all his guns. Hey. Hey. No, it is. It's all his guns. Good. Um, those guys are out of range. Um, looking around. What's, how many are left? Three, six, nine, ten. Right, well, we've got some small arms down here. We'll do these off camera. Mm -hmm. um, ooh. Decisions. Decisions. Because... I can now see that demon prince with these guys. So I've got a strat for three CP where I can target a character. Mm -hmm. Two damage guns. And that's going to score us some point. You know what? I'm going to have to do a... Uh, minus two. Cause minus two. Uh, minus one because they're heavy. But four. it would have been minus two last time because the tactical doctrine's yeah, in effect. Yeah. So it would be minus two to so be saving on a four up, which is decent. But I'm going to do the small arms off these first into the plague bearers. Right. Because um, I don't think these guys... They can see the mirror. But it's got eight wounds, it would take some heroic work to get through to that. But um, yeah. we'll see how we'll get on anyway, we'll do that and come back. We've still got the whirlwind, the thunderfire. So, options. Yeah, we'll do these guys because they're not going to shoot anything else. So these guys will be hitting on fives. Uh, six is auto wound. Yeah. On a hit roll. So the three to wound. No, four, you three, four, you play there. I'm in three days. Alright, yeah, three, wound on four. So two more, so five, four wounds. Yep. So four four ups, fail some bloody saves, man. And uh, there's two threes failed and feel no pains. Oh, oh Ricky, man. <laughs> Ricky! They to make my job hard. But I'll tell you what, oh, it's a lot of CP to spend. It is, it's massive. Three CP. You've got, uh, got eight. eight. I haven't got one back this battle round. Yeah, we're going to go with the whirlwind. Same gonna, place. Um, yeah, um, hmm. Oh, there's a Zango, there's a 10 man squad. Right, knock the CP off. Yep. We're gonna hit the. We're gonna hit the big unit Zangos again. Yeah. yeah. The ones at the back. So forty three shots, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Do you want to roll to see if you get a CP back? I'll roll it in a sec. So we've hit right. them. That's all I wanted anyway. Yep. We'll see if we get the CP. We do. Yep. So we've got that many hits. Yep. Wounding on fours. Two wounds at minus one. Two wounds on the five up on them. One. So one, I'm happy. That's all I wanted to just cripple them again. So make sure they're not landing in. They're stuck behind everything else there for another turn. You got me thinking here, you know, because what I did see with these, didn't I? Is I was maybe considering putting them in further and finishing them off in a charge. Yeah. Because I've got a lot of attacks. I might still have to do it. Oh, it's a long charge. Doesn't look that long. Who? Oh. <laughs> how many? How many eight it's inch long. charges it's, it's, you it's, make it's these days? I don't make many at all. Don't make many six inch charges. <laughs> oh right. I'm feeling, feeling four inch charges recently, so <laughs> that's massive. Decisions, decisions. Realistically, I don't think I'm gonna wound your demon prince on five of these. I don't think it's gonna happen. Nah. I might get. I only need one. I, think, I think you're gonna kill him. Hmm? You wanted to do it to spend three CP, so I've got five <laughs> left, so I'll go down. You, you rinse them, I'm just two. No, we'll right, so the whirlwind hasn't gone yet, has it? Um, I thought that's what it was. That the no, fire? that's a Thunderfire cannon, yeah. so we'll go with the whirlwind at the same target. Um, Zangos? Oh, Plague Bearers. How many of those have you lost? What, Zangos? Plague Bearers. Plague Bearers. Uh, Lots. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So you've lost twelve. So you're hoping for a one read, you're spending another two CP. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm quite happy to let you just take the CP, I think, with those right. guys. Because I don't think this hitting on fire, I don't think it's going to do. going to go for the um, the big unit of Zangos. Mm -hmm. Actually, this, yeah, the big yeah, unit. Big yeah, one. I said the big unit. Doesn't matter, I'll let you take well, it back. The thing is, I don't think I would kill 10. Like I said before, it would take a lot to get them. So... Oh, it's threes to wound, yeah, that's five wounds at minus one. Uh, no, no minus. Doesn't matter. Yeah, ten wounds. Uh, two. Two more, yeah, I'll take that. Any little thing for a morale check's quite good on them. Yeah. Even though they're hindered. Oh, decisions now with the snipers and stuff. Really big decisions. And the repulsor. 
I'm going to have to measure this guy and see what guns he's got in range. So he, sh he should be in range of Kalgor. Might not be. The way I've moved them, I think I might just move them out. Right, so we're going to go with the Repulsor. He's literally just going to put everything into this front screen unit here. See if we can get rid of it. Had a hum and haw about these guys. I'm, I might go for the CP on the Strat. We'll see, because these guys, combined with these guys, might be able to take out the mirror at the end. Or maybe score a hit and kill that Demon Prince. So it's maybe worth it. But if I can kill this unit here... This guy's on a plus one to hit because of the litany that went off, so he'd be hitting them back on threes instead of... Uh, he'd be hitting them on fours, fours. sorry. Yeah. Um, so we're just going to have to go for it. He's got the three stone bolters, the little gatla, the big gatla, the everything else. Just all into the play bearers. Roll off camera, see how many dice we get and yeah. the wounds we get. So these guys are long hum and haw. We're going to go into the mirror. Um, so we're going to forego his shooting to add one to the hit roll. So we'll be hitting on twos. So we're going to go for the heavy D3 round. Yeah. So we've got two hits, we'll be wounding on fours normally, and then down to threes. So we've got one wound. One wound, uh, five up. No. No, so it's D, I was tempted to command point, but I'll not bother now. D3, we'll command point that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> one. I one. think I've got it back to spheres anyway, so I'm down to seven CP. Yep. Oh, now I'm really tempted to use that and just hit the demon prince. Because even two wounds off that would have got us a point. Yeah. 3 CP though. I know, but now I'm looking at it for a point. Would it be worth going and hitting the mirror in the hope of taking a wound off the mirror? You probably could. Now you got a 5 up save. You got more chance to take. The mortal point. wounds won't, because the thing is, pass the mortal wounds on a 2 up, in case people don't know. Yeah. That, that, so the mortal wounds aren't re they're okay, but they're not as good as they would be against going through against a demon well, prince. In, in my opinion, right, I don't think you'll kill the demon prince, but you'll definitely get a wound off the mirror if you want the point. And but is the point worth 3 CP? I don't think it is. No, the point... You've got time to do it later. Shoot, shooting the Demon Prince is worth it more. Yeah, to get rid of him. To get rid of him, because I'll get the kill point, I'll get the pick your poison point, and I'll get the character wound point. But I'm not going to go for it yet. I'm going to go and have some shots into the... I don't want to get any of those guys back. I'll just go into here. Right. So, it's not a bad. Two hits, because I'm minus two to hit them still. Uh, one wound. Five up. Nope. And sorry, four up and five. <laughs> it's two damage. Oh, sorry, I'll roll another. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just roll another one. I'll don't just worry. Roll another six. Right. Casual do do six. I want to shoot again with a thunder fire? Or the whirlwind? No, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to cause enough damage to you this turn. No. So with that, we're quite happy to just sit still. End our turn. So we don't kill. Don't kill any do we? Uh, no. 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 We definitely score one. Yeah. So we'll score one. So you've got hold one. And that's it. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to your turn two. Yeah, so Ricky humming and horn here. So he's, it's the morale test on it. He's done it with his angle, was the fine. He's going to risk the roll on here. He doesn't want to spend the two CP. Um, so he rolls two dice. He can pick the, the lowest, basically. He's hoping for a one. Because they've lost... The leadership seven. They've lost... 13, so they're losing at least 6 men, Yeah. plus whatever the dice roll is, unless he rolls a 1, so I'm really hoping he doesn't roll a 1. I can get a, if I roll a 2, it's down to 1 man. Yeah. So 1 or 2, basically. Right? Well, no, because a 1 will get you more men, so they're dead. Uh, I'll, you can uh, gaze a fate one, can't I'll you? gaze a fate that one. Yes! yes. Get in! That no, that's fine, for D6 guys back. For 3. Gaze a fate paying off, that's what it's for. Is that over right, so see, no, yeah, Ricky's back up there, a few extra guys, which is good, because we're just seeing it, those numbers anyway, they're probably, depending on what he does with them, his turn, yeah, he keeps them as a screen, or he pushes them forward, and they're probably going to die, because they're not worth, how many's in there now, there's not the minus one nah. for having loads, is there? 12, so. You need 20? You need over 20. 20. Over 20. Yeah. So I'll get the minus one from the second power if I really want to, or put, the or put it on these two. guys to double protect these. So we'll let Ricky go into his movement phase anyway, because he's got guys that can drop in and stuff this turn. Yeah. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Right, the blood letters aren't coming in yet. Ricky's creating a bit of a gap. So these have spread out. These have moved up. The mirror's hopped over because it's got shenanigans to do. A little bit of just staying still here, consolidating, making sure they're not out and open. The Zango is not really anywhere good. Like it looks ridiculous, doesn't it, down there? But we've measured lots of careful measurement. There's just no space. Um, because these guys do a twelve inch deny and the tanks down there for nine. The twelve inch deny is massive. Like, it's it's good against drop armies, but like so, the last time I used them, nobody had drop stuff. Yeah. But it, it goes to show how good they are if that because yeah, that's your big game plan. Yeah. So it really does sort of hinder stuff. 
Um, and like I said, these have dropped in, so they're looking to get to the tank. Be too much to go up and over, but um, he's, he's got to do what he's got to do. Because obviously I think next turn he's thinking those Nurglands are dead. I could rack up maybe a lot of points if I'm not hit hard this turn. Mm -hmm. um, the Litany's a battle last till the end of the turn. The plus one to hit. Mustn't stack with Overwatch. You only hit on Overwatch on a six unless it's a special rule specifically that says five or six. Yeah. Which there's plenty of them about, so I would say I he... I would say no. I'd say if he Overwatch, yeah. you can't get up there, but he definitely couldn't hit unless it's on a six. Yeah, yeah. But the plus one wound roll is still in effect on the Crusader. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of careful manoeuvring down there. I know this looks quick on camera, but it's like the little nuances of twisting to make sure wings aren't out and stuff and yeah. preempting where these could move. So could they go this way and see over and up? It looks like it here, but I can't. Could they go that way? No. So Ricky's ready to rock a psychic phase. This could be devastating. Yeah, I'm having a little think first, mate. Right, so he's having a little think. Five. He knows he's on the inside out, knows exactly what he wants to do. <laughs> the, but it's true, it's the new codex stuff, isn't it? The Marines have got options now, and it's like not as easy to think about as before, is it? Yeah. So I'm going to spend a command point and change um, his gears of fate for plus one in one. Right. So you're so, down to five. Yep. So, um, no, what do I want to do? Smite. Uh, I'll let you have a think. So he's dropping Smite yep. to go for his plus so one do, in run. So I'll do, uh, I'll start at the top because I've got me, start with I've got me plan worked yep. out. So uh, the Pox Brown cast minus one to hit on these. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't go. It's a six, isn't it? Yeah, it is a six. So I'll uh, CP that one. That goes... Wait there, wait there. I'm tempted to deny that. I think the outside of range is not visible either. 24, it's not visible for deny, just 24 inches. No, just 24 inches. Yeah, He's definitely good. within range. I'm just wondering what else I'm in range of. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not in range of Aramin, but you are in range of the mirror. And the mirror's got what? Smite and... Um, it's got minus one leadership bubble and fight again. It's wicked in combat though, isn't it as well? It's no slouch. It's yeah. And the fight against a psychic power. Yeah. Minus one hit on the player, but it's the only minus one now, the one that they're not minus two because of their unit size. Yeah. But I may cast it on the other ones, I'm not sure. I don't think it'd be shooting them though. Nah. Well, I think we'll let that one go off. Right? Yeah. Uh, so minus one to hit on them. Yep. Yeah. Right, next. Uh, now we'll cast Gears of Fate from the uh, Warlord, which goes. I don't think I'm within range. If I am within range, I don't think I can deny that anyway. Yep. So. Next, you'll cast, um, you'll cast Glamour on the unit design goes, the bigger one, which is minus one to hit, which goes. Yep. Next, you'll cast plus one in one on these ones. Yep. Uh, four, five. Yeah, I don't think that goes, so I'll CP it. You CP the you CP oh, sorry, this you, one anyway? Right, well, Gears of Fate, but yep. it can anyway, so that's Gears of Fate gone. Gears of Fate gone on the command re roll. Oh, yep. You don't. Down to four on you. Five because you drop one to use the change oh, of power right, and then yeah. four for the reroll. Thank you. Four for the reroll. Uh, next, Araman is going to um, doom bolt these. Yeah. Which doesn't go. He'll smite them. Which goes for D3, for three. So on four ups, we ignore. We take two, so we lose a man. Yep. I'll take him off in a second. No bother. Which goes. I'm going to have to let it go off. It's on a nine, isn't oh, it? Right. So it's like yep. four dice or something like that, isn't it? Millions of dice. Is it a dice for every man and on a... No, no, it's, it's just um, nine. Nine dice and on... Is any it? sixes or mortals. So uh, three there. Three. Uh, one more. So one's dead, one's wounded. Yep. Yep. Good times. <laughs> and then uh, the Epitome will cast this minus one leadership bubble. Uh, five, six goes. I'm happy because the banner gives them plus one anyway. Okay. So plus one, minus one, and then I'll cast a smite, which is off on a seven. So we'll try and deny Sorry, that. That's it, yeah. So well, you get plus one as well. So call it seven, just yeah. to make it simple. Oh yeah, it's definitely denied. Yep. I'll show that roll. It's a double six. First time I ever get the double six. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll remove a guy down here, and one's got a wound, and yeah. then is that the end of the psychic phase? That's psychic. Yeah, that's. Yeah. It. See what Ricky's doing. See, so psychic phase is done. Yeah. They're gonna charge. So they're going to charge. Um, them and them. Them and them. In fact, they're getting the um, Overwatch bubble, aren't they? What do you mean by Overwatch bubble? So I'll be taking Overwatch from everything. Ah, it's a yeah. strat to do it's that. It's 2 CP, and I have to be an inch away from you and within six of the target unit. So technically, that could Overwatch support fire as well. Yeah. But it's it within, within six of the unit. So the ground floor of it's three and three. 
Yeah, but you'd have to measure a vertical distance, don't you? So it would be like that to the base. Well, then, fine. So he wouldn't be able to do it. Yep. No, so no, he has to be within six of my units. Oh, six of your units. Yeah, six so of the three, target three, charge yeah, unit. Yeah. Right, yeah. So whoever you choose as a charge, I've got to be more than one inch away from you, which I should be in most cases, 99% yeah. of the time. But then I've got to be within six of the target unit. So if you choose this unit, in essence, that unit could also support fire. Yeah, yeah. A bit like tau. Mm -hmm. So you've got a, a decision to make. You obviously don't want to go in first with a mirror. No, no, I'll get absolutely Cause, rinsed. Because no, I no, am no. within range of what you're calling with every... Pretty I'll tell you, tell you what, I'm just going to try and... I'm just going to have a bash, mate. So them and them. And them. And I'll... Um, Yeah, the five will put it back because he threw on the other day, so he's definitely on five CP. Nah, nah, carry on. I'll just, I'll just tank it. I'm ready. Let's do this. You ready? So minus one hit's not gonna come into effect. It's not. But I'm wondering whether I want to then take extras on the mirror, because I can reroll any dice. Do I spend two CP now, or do I keep it from maybe his next turn? How many have I got? Seven. You got seven. And you're just charging that unit. Them and them. Are oh, you charging both? Right, I'll tell you what, then I'm going to 2CP it, and I'm going to go... I'll double-check the strat. I think you picked two fact, units. Did I, did I say both, or did I just say them? You, I, well, you decide, because I can't remember. I thought you'd just change it to just one. Um, no, we'll, we'll just do here. That's what I thought you'd done. We'll just Are you do sure? Here. Yeah, you've, you've changed your mind. <laughs> right, well, I'll, I'm going to spend the strat, and obviously you're going to go... We'll, we'll double-check it and make sure I can go with the tank. I think we can. I think you picked two units. It might be three. I'm going to have to check the strat. It's two right. CPs, and then those get the help out. So we'll double-check the strat wording, mm -hmm. and it's probably going to be the aggressors and the repulsor, yeah. or maybe it's this squad here, yeah. but we'll see. Yeah, so checking the words of the strat, it is, it's what I said, you get to pick three units. So that has mean Ricky isn't going to take these, because then it would open these to be the third and basically let these shoot for free. Exactly. <sighs> so the thing <laughs> is, do I, do I want to take the strat? Well, I know what's going to happen, I want to tell the viewers, and you haven't told me this, but what these are going in for... Is to free up the mirror, which is pretty badass in combat, mm -hmm. to then go in. Because I'm not that scared of what they'll do in combat. And in essence, I reckon I could probably beat them back. You definitely could. But the mirror's going to attack first. Then I'd have to interrupt, and I'm not going to have many men left to attack back with the mirror. Yeah. And there's no way, unless you whiffy, whiffy big style, that I'm going to kill enough of them that they don't get in. Yeah. So let's spend the 2 CP... Let's roll loads of dice off camera because the aggressors and those guys with the auto bolt rifles are all in range of Calgar, so they'll be re-rolling sixes. Mm -hmm. This guy, it'll not apply to Overwatch. He's got a ton of guns going on sixes. Yeah. And then we'll just see what happens. These guys, obviously, if they hit on Overwatch on six, it's an auto wound as well. And obviously, everybody's in rapid fire range, so it's just lots and lots of dice. Uh, yeah, five. So the two CP managed to kill five. Uh, didn't hit the hit wolves are pretty bad, even with Calgar helping out like, yeah. stuff like that. But um, they were great, like. the wound rolls, I think I got four or five hits and no wound rolls of like twos yeah, and stuff. Cool. So pretty bad. But anyway, I've killed five, which is always good. Probably better than I would have done if I didn't do that stuff. So two D six. I don't know what the distance is, but just go for it, buddy. It's not that. It's not that. I'll have to CP that, man. Five Could be. should be. Five is good. Happy. Five is good, yeah. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. <laughs> Ricky's down to four CP, but they're in. They're in, they're in. You don't want to hover him in behind his friend so he can pile in and attack. Because don't forget, Ultimate Reach can fall back and shoot anyway. Hold on, you make. Uh... You're going to make space for the mirror, but it doesn't look like it's going to get in there. Because you've got to maintain coherency when you move, don't you? You do. That's coherent. So where's the mirror going to fit through? Straight through the middle. All right, okay, okay. Trust me, bro. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. That's I'm what I'm saying. Like, so are they, they happy to go there and pile into them and not attack? Yeah, I'm want not sure. I might, I might move them. It makes more sense. I uh, think in this instance, because you know I can fall back shoot anyway, you probably just want to do as much damage to that squad as you can. Yeah, I think you're right. So I'll... Uh, but you don't want to push them in too close that you can't get the mirror in. Yeah. We'll see what happens, yeah. So yeah. mirror, charge... But I can't fail. I still need to roll just to see if I can get because I oh, yeah, wrap be around, there, but which is gone straight forward. Yeah. So in there, right? Uh, unfortunately, I have to go with the mirror first because it's your zangos. Were they charging? Oh yeah, sorry, mate. Thank it's you. alright. You know that's what it's about. Not forgetting Bless these you. things. Bless not forgetting. So, so zangos into the nine inches. We'll see if you get it. Do watch off camera. Yeah, well, it's eight it's for the uh, plus one. one. No, nope. so they're not in. Right, we weren't going to film the Overwatch, but um, 
this guy's just rolled like a legend. Obviously, the plus one, the wound's still in effect, and on sixes, now fives, he's causing mortal wounds if Paragon of War is in effect. So I've got seven hits with the assault cannon. Well, yeah. with the small arms, what have I killed? Four of them. Four. With just small arms fire. Yeah. Then the assault cannon got seven hits on sixes. We're not cheating anybody here. And then he's just rolled five wounds of this, which is five mortal wounds. So that's five dead. Plus five saves. <laughs> so he's just rinsed nine of them so far in Overwatch. You know what, I'm going to check it that it says in your shooting phase. It's alright, we'll see. No, I need to check that it says in your shooting phase. Wait, we'll see after. Yeah, okay. I'll see if I can make these saves just to make myself feel a bit better. Nah, three more. So he's just killed 12 in Overwatch. Wow. Right, so disclaimer, so Paragon of War is an unmodified wound roll of a six. But he's still brutal with a plus one wound roll. So we've put four bad guys back on for Ricky. Hey, um, they're called bad guys. They are the bad guys. They're the good guys. Turkeys, blue turkeys. <laughs> so that's a bit better. He still did kill eight in Overwatch, which is normal yeah. shooting. Yeah. It's pretty good. And they didn't get in, so it's eight free dead bodies. is always good. So anyway, Ricky's going into the combat phase. He knows what he's doing. We know what's happening here. It's man in the mirror time. I feel like you need some Michael Jackson music coming on. <laughs> I'm going to get some dice because I'm going to be needing to make... Do I get all my saves? Just show us what you do. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'll do the do them separately. So it's got two attacks at minus two and uh, eight attacks at minus, minus one. one. Yeah. So uh, hits on twos. Always drop a couple. Uh, wounds on threes. Any... Uh, wait, wait, wait. What? I'm going to spend two CP. Right. To make them... that Any wound rolls of a one, two, or three fail. So you need a wound on fours. Right. It's so called transhuman physiology, physiology or something yeah. like that, yeah. So he knocked me Does that down. Mean at the start of the phase? Uh, I think it's the first time they're attacked, but my plan was to do it to hold you up anyway. Okay, so, so two CPs? Two, yeah, I got mine back this yeah, turn so as well. So you've got one wound. One there. wound. Minus it, one. One at minus one. Do two you want, damage. Do you want to do the other one? And ones? then the other two, uh, both hit, and one wound. one wound that's at minus four, three damage. So the minus four I can't save, so one's dead. Yep. And they're not mortal wounds or anything silly like that, are they? Ah. And then one at minus. One? Minus one, yeah. So I'm going to take the three damage on that guy. Yeah. So he'll die. And then one at minus one. So he doesn't save. So two die. And two damage. So yeah, so two die. So we'll take these two off. Yep. And, and then, then I may spend two CP. I might do. You've only got four left. No, you know what? I'm not. I'm going to leave it and check the strat because it might be for the phase. Right. If it's against those attacks, I might. You'd be wounded on fours anyway, mm. won't you? Because you're strength four. Yeah. Yeah, so just leave it, so it's okay. fine. Yeah, I'll just I'll go with what I've got. So I've lost two guys. Three. So I've got a uh, seven now, plus one for the champ for it, yeah. But uh, four's to hit. So yeah, my plan was whenever anything comes whacking in, like a demon prince, just yeah. play that strap. And then it's um, four's to wound with a reroll. Nice. Uh, doesn't really need it. Four, no negatives, so is it? You've got one double damage as well, mate. So we'll keep that, keep that one aside. Yep, so three singles. So three are good. Yep. Four are good. Nice. So three. So we'll do some attacks back. Now, what, now with my thing, I'm looking to try and get some wounds on this mirror. Because if I'm caused two wounds, it's T5 though, isn't it? Yeah. If I'm caused two wounds, I'll get a point. Yeah. So we'll pale in. Uh, what I should have done, if you don't mind. Is attack again. No, no, spend... Uh, one CP, so minus one attack. Yeah, level. go for it, go for yeah. it. Done. So you're down, yeah. yeah. Like you said, you know, it, it's a practice game, in oh, case anyone's course, watching, yeah. that's what it's for. So he's got to read, and again with the Marine, the but at the Marine tax, he's not sure on the stratagems, that's why we'll keep pausing it and yeah. checking the wound for him, because he needs to know what's going to happen to him. So anyone in the six inch bubble of that mirror, any enemy units are going to be minus one attack. Right, so we've done some pilings. Like I said, my plan is to put another wound on this guy for my point. So with that, we've got the sergeant who we nicely went in against, this guy and this guy. So these three will be going against this, and the other guys will be going against that. A minus one attack, but with the marine rules now, I'd have been plus one because I yeah. was charged. So we're back down to two attacks for the normal guys, three for this guy. So we'll roll the sergeants on camera. And um, they are within range of Kalgar, so they can re-roll any dice. There's no other minuses, is there? No. So we've got two hits. Yep. Uh, we're looking for threes to wound, two wounds with a power oh, fist. Strength, oh, power fist, yeah. sorry. Two wounds with a power fist. Yeah, so two five so up in ones. Five ups. Nope. Oh, are you two CPing any three. of them? Because uh, there's another two guys to attack the mirror here. Yeah, go on. Right, so he's down to three CPs, past one, D3 damage four. for one. What CP am I on? Gets four. You a point. It gets me my point, I know, but I'm thinking, do I go? Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, oh it's oh, twice that's happened. Shit. Twice, I'm down to three. Yeah. Right, so we've got two guys to attack. 
Um, we'll reroll that. Yeah, all hit. Um, one wound. One wound. Five up. Six. Yeah. So that's a yeah. Didn't need to spend that CP, but in the hope I could have got it down to like yeah. three wounds it's or something. Yeah. last secondary anyway. Yeah. So I can't score that one. That's gone. You've yeah. just maxed it. But that's it. That's good. Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have spent the CP. <laughs> <laughs> no take backs. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Do you want? No, to well, not because I would have done it to try and get the wounds off, try and kill it for because yeah. it's one of my targets for. Yeah. The, pick your poison. Yeah, indeed. Right, we'll do the other guys. There's five guys. I'm not you rolling your dice. So we've got <laughs> ten attacks against the plague bearers. Let's grab some dice. Mm. Right, so no minuses here this time to hit these guys. So they all hit ten attacks. Mm -hmm. um, toughness four. Yeah. So just three wounds. Three wounds. Three five ups. Nothing and same again. Half two. two. One and two. So I think that's it, isn't it? Yep. So morale checks, I lost two guys that turn. Three, no, three guys. Yeah. But I'm minus one, minus but I'm plus one. one. I need to check that the banner doesn't make them... Another plus one. Play. Yeah, I mean, we'll roll anyway. Four, I'm fine. Yep. Seven. And then you've lost seven play bearers. Um, yeah, because you got extra yeah. ones in, didn't you? So seven. Okay. So it's only one dice because I'm out of range here yep. now. So... Hey! Yeah. CP in it. <laughs> I go for it. Let's get, how many is he getting back? Oh, D6 back. Oh, six. oh six. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. As a move into Marine. You couldn't, but let's be honest, you had a bit of a fluff look anyway with the Zang Ors and stuff. And oh, definitely, yeah, yeah. I tricked you in with that strat. I, I did probably, spend a CP, but. I feel like I deserved that a little Yeah, bit. I think that's. On balance, it looks about right, you dirty bugger, yeah. <laughs> so we're we'll going to Marine turn three after Ricky's finished cheating. <laughs> <laughs> See where we end up. We've done the litanies and stuff at the start of the round again. Obviously, for the fall back, the mirror, you have to roll 3d6 less than your leadership. And Multimeter Marines, I've just rolled this on 3d6. Ricky is spitting. He's absolutely spitting. Because the mirror is amazing at holding stuff up. A lot of slamish units off or stuff like that. that like. And he needed it and it didn't. But look, you got the plague bearers. I probably didn't need you to get them back. But yeah. I think that was bigger, being able to fall back with that squad still, where they're still that strong. And then the other thing was the litanies will put the plus one hit and wound. Litany both on the aggressors, and I had to use a CP to get one of them off. Yeah. But this could be big because they are now going to fall back and open a world of gunfire on lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll, we'll see anyway because there's lots of movement to do. And like I said to Ricky, he's still got a big blood letter bomb. I can't afford to leave big gaps still because they could come in and hurt us. But I, I need to put the hurt on this turn. I really do need to start killing stuff because none of us have killed anything yet. I think I can definitely kill that Zango unit with the land raider. Oh, definitely. That should be a done. But then it's whether I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think if he moves around that way, he's still deny the whole board section around here. So my plan might be to move the land raid around and just keep pushing. And you shouldn't be able to land anything here. Mm -hmm. And your blood letters are going to have to drop in front, which is never good. Yeah. But we'll see. My marine tactics are working so far. Just, I've had to make you spend a lot of CP to not kill anything. Yeah. But that, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So limited movement, turn three. Um, health, health ground here and health ground here. Just keep them pushed out. These guys have moved around a little bit because it does get them a line of sight onto that mirror. You can just see it popping up there, Michael Jackson. Um, the repulse has moved slightly. Obviously the tactical doctrine's still in effect, so I'm not getting any penalties really to any of my stuff for moving and firing. Mm -hmm. These guys will be a minus one because they fell back as per their special rules. Yeah. Um, and just a little move around. At the end of the movement phase, we're going to try and bring back a dude, because that's all we can do. Mm -hmm. um, so might as well try it. So on a four up. Yep, so we've yep. got a dude back on a wound. So there's an extra three shots this turn. Bizarre. The tanks moved around. These guys moved up. I am giving up a bit of board down here now with the blood letters, but I'm sort of happy to do it, because at this turn, if they drop there, that charge's targets are limited. They'll have to go through a creator against these guys, which would be a very long charge. I'm happy to give the whirlwind up, because I could get stuck back. I can't declare them as a target anyway, but I'm sorry, 12. Yeah. yeah. So... It, it gives them options, but I need to really squeeze this area and start doing stuff down here. I can't get any more secondaries, can I, for wounding people now, for wounding characters. Now you've maxed your... Um... Right. So we'll go into the psychic phase anyway, and we're going to... Roll this one? Yeah, let's roll this one, because I think we need to do... We'll do some um, defendy on 4+, plus against that unit, yeah. which is going to be the closest one again. Um, that goes off on a six because it casts on a five. Try and deny with a mirror. 
Nope. Oh, save you, save you. Should have saved that, didn't I? I've so got gonna, two. Gonna, I don't think my smite, smite of heroes. I don't think my heroes is going to do anything on anybody, so we'll just smite. Alright. So that goes off on a five. Yep, we'll try and deny with a mirror again with a plus four. Oh, four, five, doesn't, doesn't go it. off. Go for it. D three. Hey, for once I rolled more than a thingy. Uh, on their sweet play bearers, yeah. So. Oh, oh, Ricky, well done. <laughs> so. What happened event, in that psychic phase? Eventful psychic phase. You Nothing. Got, I denied mighty heroes and then yes, might. They denied the um the shield one, the four yeah. Not, yeah, so nothing. And then yeah, um, wounds didn't go through. So not wounds. nothing happened. So we're going to go into the shooting phase. We'll probably start over here somewhere or over here or whatever. I don't know. There's too many guns now to look at it. <laughs> um, we'll probably start down there actually and get those guys to shoot the plague bearers who aren't at minus one now. Um, yeah. actually no, we'll start with the aggressors. Because they're on plus one hit, plus one wound. Mm -hmm. And I think they should have enough. What do I think? How many plague bearers you got left? There is two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah, I've got to start with the aggressors. If there's four or five, I might start with the other squad, get rid of them, and then put the aggressors into the mirror. So we're going to start with the aggressors, who now don't count as moving, so they've got so 18 spend, shots. Uh, two CPs to give me Four up in one. I don't know which one's better. The reroll, feel more pins. I'll do the four up in one. Four up in one's better. Half the save will be yeah. made. And um, this is for the extra grenades for each man. So we've got 9, 10, 15 extra grenade shots on top of 18 shots. Yeah. Again, these are getting rolled off camera. No bother. Right, so Ricky's popping his gem, Michael Jackson man in the mirror gem, which can deny a character's abilities this turn. Obviously, he's going to... We had a talk. I said the best time to use it is my shooting phase. Yeah, which it is. So he's going to use it on Calgar now before the aggressors re-roll anything. At the minute, they've hit because the plus one hit and there would be a re-roll of the one. But obviously, that's every unit in here. So he wants to... This guy's within six. He wants to shut him down. So you need to roll 3d6 and beat my leadership, or equal or beat it? Beat it. You have to beat it. Yeah. So at the minute, Calgo's leadership 9, 10 because he's an ultramarine, 11 because he's in range of the banner, 10 because your thing's minus 1 minus leadership. One. Right, so you've got to get 3 dice, 10 or more. Oh, you like on. to make things complicated. It's Six. not happened. Yeah, I'll re-roll the one when we last CP. Last CP. Oh, 10, it's tied. No. Get, check your strat because that's big. It's not that big at the minute because there's only one dice to reroll, but if you have to beat it. I'm pretty confident it's beat it, like. But I will. So, unfortunately, it that. is beat the model's leadership, which means he tied with him. Yeah. That banner coming in pretty handy there because you would have done it if the yeah, banner wasn't within right. range. And the banner's actually been ultimately to 9 inch spread range as well, so it's pretty good. Um, oh, you know what? I haven't done for the banner. Let's see if those three guys can do anything. Yeah. Um, so, one of them can do something, which would have been an attack. Gotta put against. Go hits. Uh, wound, well he would have wounded anyway, I dropped two <laughs> days. So another plague bearer, because that's who he would have been against. Um, no, so, no so Ricky would have lost, it made no difference, because we're not any further on anyway. So right, I need to roll a wound, totally stop this out my, out my sink. Yeah. That's good, it's a good thing to do, because the opponent would be like, yeah, I'm confused now. Yeah, I have a shot with them, yeah, yeah, you've shot. Yeah. <laughs> I so, wouldn't do that. I know you wouldn't. This is just the grenades from the aggressors now. So we need to wound on fours, but we added a plus one, so we're threes. So those litanies are very, very strong. It's like three veterans and three like thingies. So that's four, eight, nine. And that's before the fire, the fisty cuffs. Nine. So uh, four ups. Yeah, because you popped the strat, didn't you? Oh, actually you put a guy back. Because you rolled a four in your inventory. save. Oh, no, because that was the five phase. Yeah, four. Yeah, right. Before. Yeah. And then five ups. Ooh. Oh, four die. So how many's left? Uh, one, two, three. Ah, uh, hold on. I'll leave them where they are, so I'll take them three and that one. So you've got a uh, two, four, six left. Six left, right. We've got 18 shots going into these six. I'll roll these off camera and see what we can do. Great. Right, so they cause 25 wounds. Yeah, they're dead. So... <laughs> no, I've ah, they're Rick, Ricky's made better rolls than this. He definitely has. Four up in ones. There's a lot of four ups there. There's... There's another three and a two over this side. The, the NAOs are sixes in case anyone's wondering. I can do this, mate. I hope not. Rampant self belief. That's what it's all about. Two, four, nah, six, dead. seven, eight. Dead, ah. dead, dead. Yes, that's a killer unit. The first <laughs> unit. Kill that's, one. Is that. We don't do first blood. It's first strike. And if it, it would be turn three for first blood. That's ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually not that ridiculous against your army, but it's yeah. like. With first strike, I am the first battle round. Nah, it is. That's, but, that's no, I mean. Right, that now opens up that mirror to a world of hate and hurt. Because obviously, 
Is that a carrot now? Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. He doesn't think you know No, he great. doesn't. But all of a sudden, there's like, it's carrot for my cards, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So, right. well, you've already You've already maxed that anyway. I maxed it for that one. Oh, no, I didn't pick him anyway, did I? I was just wondering, though, in case of range, because over here, it might be like, I'm going to have to shoot the Zangos first, because mm -hmm. it's going to bottle up. Doing it properly down here, because then there's the whole, those guys with the auto bolt rifles can shoot the mirror, or might not even need to. Yeah. So we're going to go down there, we're going to shoot all the, we're going to shoot the assault cannon, let's just go into the Zangos, kill two units. Right? Yeah, I think so. Right, so Kronos hitting on twos with his assault cannon, um, all bar one, wounding on threes and sixes on mortal wounds in addition. So there's one mortal. Yep. That's a pretty bad wound roll. So one Zango dead. One Zango dead and five more saves. Five more. How many is left alive? Five, uh, two, four, six. Six. Oh yeah, save three. Yep. Two so we've got the storm ball up. We've got another three hits. We've got two wounds. Yep. Five ups. Save them both. And then we've got hurricane ball at one. Get rid of that. Looking for some sixes here, really. Right, so there's one dead. Yep. And one wound, plus the one. And then Hurricane Ball at two. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit as well. I'm like taking away twos. <laughs> and then we're looking for fours. Six has been very good. Right, so there's another mortal wound. Yeah, that's squad, mate. Yeah, there we go. I knew it would take pretty much all the guns, which seems daft. But, um, Aye, but you still, you've got to make sure, though. Definitely. So that's them gone, which will should put me on kill more unless Ricky goes really butt nuts. And start like smacking everything. Um, you know what? I'm gonna throw a grenade with the apothecary at your mirror. Right. Because he he got somebody up, so you're gonna act. So you can reroll because thing is there. He yeah, hits. hits. Wounds on a three. Crack grenade. Does wound. Five up. No. Nope. No. D three damage. Just the one. Just the I think one. I've rolled one every yeah. time. Ball <laughs> one. That is poopoo. -poo. Mirrors on five. Mirrors on five, eh? Ready to go? Right. These guys, I'll have to see what they're in range of. I think a couple of them maybe see the Nurglings, but I'm not... We'll see. We'll see. Probably got three that can see them. Some couldn't, some them couldn't. Uh, three. So it's three guys for so six dice, because the count is remaining stationary. Yeah. Um, sixes will hit an auto wound. Um, so I've got three hits against the Nurglings. Uh, three, three wounds, because it's toughness two. Five ups. One and five ups. Two. So, one so one's down to two wounds. The other guys aren't in range of anything. We're just working with way backwards, really. Um, those guys with the assault ball as. Oh, I've got to come around here because it's interesting. Like, do I shoot the mirror? I've got 24 inch range. Do I shoot the mirror? Where? Yeah, no, yeah, because it was one of my thingies. It was definitely one of my pick your own poison stuff. Yeah. So I think there's eight guys. Yeah, we didn't put the extra guy back on. <laughs> I've gone up on a wound. So there's nine guys because there's guys. three deads on the table yeah, and one's back. Right. So nine guys, three shots each. 27 yeah. shots. And it's there's no minuses to hit it anything other than my uh, normal minus one for falling back. Yeah. Which I can spend a strat, I think, to boost up, but I'm not going to. 27 shots. Right, so we've got this many hits, hitting on fours, re-rolling for Calgar, and then we're looking for fives to wound. That's not bad. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wounds, eight. I think she's just five ups, isn't she? Six. Yep, you'd probably do it in here. Yeah. That's the thing is, they are great for anti-fly and all that kind of stuff and telling people up. Hopefully. Oh, no, Ricky's passed. He's dropped four. Four, uh, one left there. One wound. One wound. And I've threw a grenade. I don't think I've got anybody else. Can Calgar probably can't see her, can he? Nope. Right, so Calgar's going to have to measure some distance. Can he see sloppity dude down here or anything like that? Yeah, uh, you can probably see the... I'm going to let you call it because they're all characters, aren't yeah, they? So, you can. Right, so we'll shoot him. Because it's going to be four shots. Are you sure I can see him yet? Because I'm yeah. not around there. So. Two's re-rolling. And then he's toughness four, isn't he? Five. five. Uh, one wound. One wound, five up then. Oh, no, and I and think it's two, two damage. damage it? Five ups, one. Oh, so he took a wound. Yep, down three. So we're going to put all the storm bolters and thingy launchers into the mirror, and then we'll put uh, the little gatla into the mirror. Mm -hmm. 
I think these are going to be just closer than these characters down here just by looking at it by eye. Mm -hmm. So then we'll put, you know, we'll put Twin Lars here. Yep. Twin Lars, Big Gatla, all the other guns down there. All right. I just think uh, no real point yet in drumming these. So Twin Lars can reroll in one hit. Ugh, doesn't wound. We're going to keep it. Six. Nah, CP it. Doesn't move. No. I've rolled a one every time. Right, we'll get some dice for the Gatlas. Um, because we did big Gatla, didn't we? Yeah. And then all the rest in there. You can hold it off turn one and then whoop. Drop dice don't count. So this is the Gatla again, sloppity doppity. Um we're re-rolling them, because Kalgar's there. They all hit. Yeah. And these are five, so force to wound. Uh, that, that's a lot better. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten wounds. 10 wounds, so 5 ups. Oh, dearie me. Dead. Hold on. Dead. 5 ups. Dead. Yeah, Definitely dead. 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 Mega dead. Right, we'll do, Mega the dead. do the little Gatlan Stormwall off camera, see how many wounds we get on the mask, because he's strength 5, so my Gatlan will be wound on 4s and the rest will be wound on 5s. Right, so Ricky just took, well, he didn't just take her off, the, the sort of little Gatlan done it anyway, and then there was a, an extra four or five wounds come through with the store motors before we even got on the auto launchers, so that's good, we've cleared them out, cleared that carrot out, which could help buff these guys. Mm -hmm. So now, they did they have any minuses on this turn? Um, there'll still be minus one. Minus one, can we see, no, can we see your Demon Prince? Nah. Nah. Should be able to, nah, I can't, I can't. Talk about it. No, I know, even moving around, I definitely can't. So, how many CPs have I got left? One. You have one. Right. One CP for the win. These guys. There's no minus on these, no? Minus one. Minus one. Right, the Whirlwind is going to go against the big unit of Zangos. Yeah. Nine shots. Decent. Not normally, uh, I was humming um, on. I'd probably have a... Did I get the... Did I get minus one? I got minus one to hit on them. Well, we'll do minus one to hit then. Did I, I, get, it, did I get in the second phase? I can't remember. We'll, we'll, we'll see you did. No, no. No, because I, 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 I don't know. We'll see you did, because it made little difference. It's on video though. I don't want to do that. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll <laughs> happily take that. Anyway. Um, threes to wound, so five. Five? Yeah. I think it would have made one hit difference, so it doesn't really matter. Literally, it was a one and a three, yeah. So. Five ups. Uh, two die. And then, how many of them are left now? Uh, I'm unsure. Yeah, give us Looks like 11. 11. Yeah, 11. Because I've got a cunning plan. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm going to... Thunderfire Cannon, these guys, okay. and I'm going to use my last CP, see if I get it back this turn, no, so I'm out of CP, Woo. 43 shots, 6, minus 1 to hit, so I need a 4, I've got my hit, mm -hmm. so you're half your move, advance and charge, um, th 3 wounds, yeah, 3 wounds at minus 1, 5 ups, and then 5 ups, Hey! Right, but they're half their moved, advance and charge. Yeah. Um, that's me out of CP. Hooray. At long last. These guys cannot really see anything else, so they're going to go into the Plague Bearers. Mm -hmm. These guys cannot really see anything else, so they're going to go into the Plague Bearers, and we'll do them at the end, see what's left. Right, we're going to... I'm going to try something I probably normally wouldn't do. I'm not... Their sniper rifles are going to maybe kill two guys. So there's a demon prince from there on two wounds. So what I'm going to try and do is get rid of his two wounds. Now I'm shoot a carrot even though he's not the closest. I can't see him. So I have to use a gun that means I ignore line of sight. So I've got a choice here. If he doesn't shoot, I can add one to the hit and wound roll. If he does shoot, I've got an extra chance to get him. Because I'll hit on twos anyway because he had two to the hit roll. Yeah. But I'll be wounded on fives. You will. So I'm just going to shoot with him. More dice. Dice are the key, aren't they? So three dice hitting on fives. Got two hits. Oh no, hitting on twos. Yeah. Hitting on twos. Wound on fives. I've got excited there because I've got <laughs> two. Wound on fives. 
we've got one which is a mortal wound. No, it's not that round. I'll have to double check. No, it's, no, not. it's not. So it's one save, minus one. Four up. Yeah. Oh. We knew we wouldn't do it. I'd have cut chat before. It's like not like it'd happen, but in all honesty, they'd have killed the plague bearer. Exactly. And I think in this case, it doesn't make that much more difference. Right, so I'm happy to just stay. I don't think I want to make any charges. I'm going to leave those Nurglings where they are. Mm -hmm. I've definitely killed something this turn. Um, I've got the mirror, which was one of my thingy dudes, wasn't it? One of my special dudes yeah. to kill. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there and go into your turn three. And see what you want to do. Give up. <laughs> do you think? <laughs> I don't even... What are the scores currently? Nah, it's not... It's not, you're not really uh, none of, none of us are scoring score. huge because we're not killing like every turn consistently. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a big score, I think. But actually, we haven't added up my Reaper yet. I've been... Well, I won't need to do, we'll do it at the end. But I mean, that could score... You've got a 30. Because I've got at least four points there, I think. Yeah, you've got, I think you've got two so far. Two from Reaper, so it's 40. Yeah. Well, was it 30 Plague Bearers in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, so there's at least 30, there's at least 10 Zangos died. There's a unit 40. of 20, wasn't there? Right, so I think you've got two points. So two points, so yeah. But we'll do that at the end, we'll just yeah. see what happens. Right? Yeah, so soup turn. Because I'm pure, pure Codex, pure. It's not a... Soup. I'm losing army turn soup, three. I might just be nerfed even shortly. <laughs> Tough. You know what it is, though? It still goes to show the amount of firepower and stuff I had to put into them and they don't shift. Oh, the no. amount of work, three turns solid, battering them with stratagems and stuff like that, and they just don't die. They're just so good at doing what this list does, and it's still got teeth. Mm -hmm. There's still blood letters that are about to drop in somewhere and stuff. There's a demon prince with an axe of death. Yeah, he's gotten against the wrong targets, but... Well, that's your bad play, though. Nah. Uh... I think you're forced into... <laughs> the thing is, I've literally forced... We're talking... I've literally forced him into this corner... His blood letters can now drop over there, but if they do, they're isolated, and they'll yeah. maybe kill a tank or something. And is it a half move rounding up? Half move, yeah, rounding up. So if you have five, you're on three. And then obviously you're going to be minuses for the creators, unless you'll pop out with that creator, which they probably can't. Probably can't. You may, actually, you may be able to, because he could hop this side. If you're being gamey about it, that's what you're going to have to ah, do, yeah. I think. Happy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's stuck. No, he's not. If he moves, yeah. move them all around three inches or whatever, like that. Yeah, yeah, but it's two in, isn't it? So he can no, he's, he's, he's out. He's definitely out. That would be like that, man. You reckon? Yeah. I, I would have called call it out. We'll let you move them anyway, we'll come back. Ricky's obviously, he's playing it to the letter of the law because tournament practices like that. It's, not, it's a friendly game in the sense that it's getting used to different armies and stratagems. Um. Well, what you wanted to say then, if you can't get out, do you, not, do you want to be there? Do you want to push them all forward? I think I'm probably, yeah. if I was just there, push them. probably going that way. Yeah. So I was going to say, you weren't all going to come this way. Just no, no. no. We'll come back after the movement anyway, because obviously I think this for Ricky's got to put some big damage on this turn. And then hold out. Me. Big turn for Ricky. Oh, hold on. You know, we'll do, do what you need to do as we go with these. So, these play bears have spread out. A little bit of shuffle movement down here. The blood letters have dropped in this turn, otherwise they'd be dead. That's yeah. per game rules. Nine inches away from these guys, and a little dude down there, 12, pushing this guy a bit further out. And these guys nine inches away from both these units, and that looked like the Nurgle just pushing up a little bit. No, the, Maybe should have done it before, but you know what I was going for. Well, if you'd have done it before, I'd have had extra a couple of shots at them. One of them was down to two wounds or something, so you might have lost a base or something by now. But yeah. Right, so I think this psychic phase needs to go well, and I hope it doesn't. Um, <laughs> So, do you need to have a think? Um, nah, I'll be alright. So, uh, minus one to hit on them. Doesn't go. Jesus Christ. Do -dum, do -dum, do -dum. Next, uh, he'll put the uh, plus one in run on them. Doesn't go. Next, he'll smite across there. Doesn't work. Does plus oh, one. he's plus one, isn't he? Yeah. Five. Is he within 24? D3 years, I. Do you want to have a look? No, no, I'm yeah. seeing if my guy for it, than I. Oh, uh, 24, where's your guy? No, he's not, he's at the back. Nah. That's fine, so there's two mortal wounds. Yep. So we lost a guy, and another guy will go on a wound. We'll take, who's the closest for the charge? Probably that guy, in it. Anyway. Yep. Yep. Then, uh, Araman's going to pop everything into the tank, because they're all targeted. So, uh, I, I, We'll see if I'm in range of Araman, he's a yep. little bit closer. So Doom bolt doesn't go off. As you just firestorm, you got Let's one. Go. Right, let's have a look and see if I'm in range of any denies. Yeah, no, nope. just out. No, 
Right, so that's two, four, six. I keep thinking you've got more sight, like the mirror. I should have tried the minus one, but. So two, two. more wounds. So he's down to ten, because they haven't got any um, defense on him this time. And then. Um, it's going to have to be a smite into them guys. In fact, do I want to do that? You'll take the guy off for a charge distance, extra an inch or two, won't it? So yeah, maybe I don't know. Let's have a quick. Oh, not from your demon prince. He's got no probs. Six and a six. I go on. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll smite I meant for the blood letters more than yeah, anybody. So that Ten. Was on a big one. Eleven. Six. Yeah. For one. Uh, out <laughs> so out of CP. So yeah. thank God you rolled a one for once. Yeah. Right. Well, Aramon's out of range with his bow pistol. Yeah. So, so straight into the charge phase. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna put these into them. Yeah. I'll let you know, mate. We'll do Overwatch off camera because there's tons yeah. of dice going to be happening. So them and them. So the yeah the interceptors and the aggressors. Yeah. yeah. The Sangos. Well, they're going into the Crusader. The Nurglings into, into them. them. Yeah. Anything yeah, else? I'm gonna have a blast at them into them. Right. Well, you know these can retreat. I do. So I'm just gonna. See you're gonna see if you can get them right. Yeah. So we'll do all that off camera. They get the basically that special because he's got the bolt and not a rifle. They get to run away. Yep. Um, if they're the target of the charge after they shoot that Overwatch. So we've got a lot of Overwatch to do. <laughs> just them. You're charging or you're charging. I can't make it to them. You can't make it to them. All right. So we'll do some Overwatch off camera. Uh. Right, so Ricky's absolutely cringy. He's not. He's just saying it's obviously a strong combo, having like the litanies on and having the guys in range of Kalgar. And the plan was to have the CPs left to spec scan them and do the Overwatch help out, which we can't do because we've spent them. But we've killed 11, 11 blood letters in Overwatch there. That was phenomenal absolute rolling. madness. Madness, which means in morale, they're obviously... Super dead. Well, not really, because they've got the banner. But yeah, we might, we might get away with well, it. You might, you might look out, but... Um, we'll see. We haven't even done Kronos yet, but we'll see if these guys get in on the charge. You can make your charge rolls. Yep. Because so obviously I kind of kill them all. 3d6. So they're definitely in. That's <laughs> 18, 18 inches. Right. Do you want to make your Demon Prince's roll? Uh, really, you should move these first is the way to do it, yeah, but you yeah. might as well make his roll. Oh, yeah, then. Because he was just going, who was he going against? Same two uh, units. Same two, but I would need to move them in and yeah. tag them first. and then Exactly. So, no, so he, not cheating, but let's just see what he gets. So he gets six is enough to get the nose now, so he knows. Yeah, That's why you should do it after, yeah. but he knows. Yeah, but I would have done it anyway. I would have been putting them Right, as a rookie's moving them in, I'm going to do the Overwatch rolls for um, Kronos. Look at this guy, command and position now. Do, 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 and see if Kronos can kill some more Zangos. He seems to be pretty good at it so far. Look. Right, these blue chickens... I think Ricky made six saves on Overwatch, so that was actually would have been pretty devastating again, even yeah. though the rules weren't that good. So they need a nine. Can they get in against Kronos? Uh, yeah, plus, plus one. one for the charge yet. So six, no, seven. Oh, and he's on a CP! Uh, did I get you? Gears of Fate didn't go off, it didn't failed. Go off. Uh, that's right. Nightmare. That's the wheels completely falling off. That's <laughs> as they like, you look, point it out with your army though, that's your psychic phase is your your trump phase, isn't it? Oh, when definitely. all your stuff so if you've had a poor psychic phase Oh things can go wrong. In your turn, sounds. yeah. Things tend to go pretty bad, so you need everything to go off that can. These we're going to charge, because yep, these have now fell back. So we'll get it on camera, because the minus two for the crater, plus yep. the half the charge distance. I think they're six inches away or something. Yep, it's a ten. Yeah. So nah, nah. they're definitely not in. And so then nice I'll little do, sneaky trick from these guys. the Nurglings as well. And the Nurglings are going in. Yeah. Oh, they were getting yeah, in. Yeah, Nurglings get in. We've done Overwatch for them anyway, so I think. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We didn't do anything. Because it, it oh, there was, was a base three, on a three that could see. There was a base on a wound or two wounds or something, wasn't wounds. it? Yeah. So we'll get there right. So we'll let Ricky rock on because there's going to be no interruptions. So there should be a lot of dead marines this turn. Yeah. Probably start with the blood letters or the demon prince. I'd imagine. I would imagine. <laughs> so uh, the demon prince of power is coming in strong. This is his claw attack. Yeah. So this will be uh, twos, three rolling mm -hmm. ones, all hits. Okay, strength eleven with yeah. this. Axe. So it'll be uh, threes. Twos. Yep. Any sixes or additional day three more. And this is where we're just saying that stratagem to for the one, two, threes, or even having stuff like is it um there's a chapter trait where you can be not wounded on ones and twos. Yeah, that's the good. stuff there is really good. So uh, yeah. So that's um drop one, but uh D three mortals first for two mortal wounds. So right, there's a guy gone down. Yep, and these are um, minus four. So and how many damage? D three. D six. 
you would make a complicated right. So we're a guy down. Yep, and that's, two, that's two damage. That's right. minus two. So I can't save that one. So on a five up, which I'm going to make. Yeah, yes, so I said I'll make it. So now I've got, you do these one at a time. So you've got five, potentially another five guys can get bulleted. Yep. So the first guy, well, there's only three of them. Actually, there are three wounds now, aren't there? Yeah. So that's three wounds, did you say? Yeah. Or two? Two. Right, so Plus that, that's one guy did. No, he saved. The aggressor right. saved. So but that's one. So that's one two. aggressor because of three wounds now, yeah. not two. Next one. There's one plus five, so that's two aggressors dead. Yep, yeah. and then last one. There's three aggressors dead. Yep. Yeah. Because D6. Right, do they get to do something? Because they're within range of the banner. One of them does, so you punch your pack with a power fist. <laughs> which you can reroll. This car goes out, which yeah. he misses. Oh! Right, so the aggressors are dead. We'll take them off and you get the pile in. It's about time you killed something. Uh, right, so he's piled into the apothecary there. As you can see, who's got a chainsaw, who was going to be a hero of the Empire. He's going to absolutely slay him. I thought, honestly, there, you know, I, I was getting greedy, but I thought one of the aggressors, I know I whiffed on the wound roll and I didn't have any mm -hmm. command points, and the lieutenant have said would, I would have put one in the list. Yeah. So I'd re the one. I thought he was going to one inch punch a demon prince back. <laughs> on two wounds, I thought it's going to happen. Yeah. Plus, because he, he's still got the plus one to wound. Yeah. Thought he was going to get him. But anyway, these blood letters are going to cause some damage now. I would have saved it, mate. So. He wouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll roll it later. If it comes to that, we'll so see. The uh, 14, then 15 for the blood letters. Yeah. So, the first lot, this is threes now because they're on there, but re rolling the ones. Yeah. We're just saying, we forgot an earlier game as well that the banner gives a minus one to psychic powers when they're 18, but yeah. he's been outside Don't of eight. Made it. No, nah. everyone's been outside of 18 pretty much. And then strength five, so three, two, and six is a double damage. So you've got uh, three doubles and four singles so far. And the minus two on the normal ones? Minus three. Minus three, right. So we've got four. Do I need the doubles, singles? We'll do the singles. Okay. We'll save any, then. Yeah, yeah. We may have a sly <laughs> one to soak up a double. So we'll save one guy, so three are dead. Yeah. Oh no, they're single damage, single aren't they? Damage. So two are dead and one is wounded. Yeah. And then we've got three. Yep, three doubles. We'll save one of them. So the wounded guy, so if one's dead, two's dead, three's dead. Yep. And then uh, this plus an extra. Next wave, yep. Yeah. Threes. Oh, I need that for the wounds. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Still consistent hits, mate. And three to wound. Oh, not as good. So you've got um one single and four doubles. One single. Oh, I thought I was gonna save it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to wing you up, are you? <laughs> four doubles. Well I save one, which means three are dead and one is wounded, which is the squad. No, they're all they're all gone. <laughs> yeah, they're all gone. But do they all get to do something? And I'll have to roll them differently because the sergeant's obviously got a power fist and extra attacks. Yep. So does a sergeant please? No. Oh. And then how many guys are there? Five? Yeah. Oh, I should have left them on. Because there was two normal guys here, the sergeant was... But the sergeant couldn't hit the demon prince. No. That's all worth remembering. There was two guys here, three guys here could possibly get your prince. So four guys get to do something. So... Get to make a single attack. Hitting your demon prince, wound them on fives. Go for the demon prince. Okay. So, um, no, three could go for the demon prince. Right. And one for the guy. I would have rerolled the one because the okay. Calgar's there yet. So we've got three hits, wounding on fives. We've got one wound on the demon prince. Yep. And we've got no wounds on the blood letters. So three up on the demon prince. Yep. Oh. <laughs> nah. Right, you get to pile in with those, we'll yeah, let him do I'll, that and I'll remove these dead bodies. I will like four guys. Right, back. so Ricky's wrapped around as much as he can. He's trying to do a lot of shenanigans and stuff. He's got where he is, but he obviously wanted to trap Calgar so he couldn't get out. Um, and by doing that, he's had to bring everybody into combat. So basically, you've got this guy with his chain sword. This guy's got a power sword. Calgar and obviously Targaryen. We're just saying as well, we forgot, which is me, but I'm supposed to remind him that that whole unit that he's just killed on minus one to hit because of um, prescience, but... Hey ho. You can't do any more attacks this turn, so wouldn't you know you'd say, oh well we'll just change it to Calgar, but it makes no difference. Yeah, exactly. So it's fine. So what I'm gonna do, Calgar's got six attacks, I believe, seven because he was not a target of charge, he's got six. Mm -hmm. And he didn't heroically intervene, so he stays on six. Yeah. Um he can't attack anybody else. So we're gonna roll his attacks against the blood letters. And then actually we'll do the back ones first, in case you do get gamey, but I've got a feeling you'll leave this guy on. Yeah, definitely will. So we'll just do it in that order. We'll do them all together. So Calgar's hit with everything. It'd be two's to wound. Yeah. Five wounds. Five. Five ups. 
So he's yeah. killed four. Um, then he's not a Primoris guy. Right, three attacks from the Banner dude. Um, Rerolling, I think I think he hits on threes because he's a chapter ancient. He's not so. he's not super duper. Um, one wound, power sword will not matter, mm -hmm. but he does kill one. Tiggy, Tiggy Stiggy, something weird. Mm -hmm. So Tigerius four attacks hitting on threes, rerolling because Kalgar is his friend. Yeah, yeah no. three. Three. Oops. Made one. two, so another one. And then we've got the Hapothecary, who three. is... Three attacks on threes. Yeah, who is going to go against... Demon Prince. No, he's going to go against the Blood Letters. Yeah, yeah, plus one for your power, Chainsword. Oh, yeah. Four attacks. So I'm gonna no, I'm gonna get into blood letters. All right. Because I think I'm just better. So three hits, three to wound, three wounds. Yep. Three die. So that is the end of the combat. For, oh, there's not there's Nurglings and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Keep forgetting about them. Do you want to do a morale down here and then move on to your Nurglings? Yeah, can. Because you've got no CP, we we'll kind of influence no, anything. Yeah, exactly. so. Hey, D6 back. <laughs> For five, nice. Jesus. So, Nurgly bases coming in hot. Hey, best record this, this is where the magic it. happens, mate. I'm recording it. So you <laughs> Chuck Norris Nurglings. I've got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Nurglings in mind, so. Pause. Oh, oh this round two. Yeah. So, uh One wound. One wound, uh, Okay, yeah, saved. Um, I'll do some attacks back. I'll pay in and do some attacks back. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Good. So the extra attacks coming in means we normally get two, four, six. We'd normally get nine. Mm -hmm. No, two, four, six, eight plus three is eleven. Yeah. But now obviously gets an extra one, so twelve, thirteen, four, three, yeah, sixteen. So or whatever was said. On threes. On threes, and then two's the wound. Twos. That was a couple of ones. So three, six, eight. I said I reckon I'd kill that wounded base and half another base. Yep. So, so five up. Hey, you rolling good again? Oh, it's one there. Sorry. And then five ups. Oh. Hey, you went wrong. I was exactly right. You base and half. Perfect. So they will need a leadership, but I think they're like seven or something anyway, so they kind of, yeah, right. kind of fail. I was going to say, I don't think they could fail. Nah. They're uh, six, seven, nah, they can't. And then I think obviously my guys that took them died. Well, they're dead, so they can't take any more. So I think that's the end of your turn three. It is, sir. Do you want to tally up the points and see where we're at before we move into turn four? Yep. I'll let you give you a second to add them up. So see, 11 seven is pretty close. Marine turn four, these guys have moved over. They've got line of sight on a demon prince or a winged demon prince now down there. I don't have many scoring options left. Reapers, we haven't added up yet, but I should be a few extra points ahead I of Reaper. So these guys have moved up again, keeping the tactical doctor in effect. Nothing else has moved down here. We're staying in combat down there. The tanks have moved forward. I put myself close at this character just because it's an easier kill than lots of other stuff that's on the board. Simply, uh, I could put my guns into there and kill them with four or five wounds rather than kill units of 10 and 12, that kind of stuff. So we're gonna go into the psychic phase. I do still have a psyker. We're gonna give the minus one to hit on, which we keep forgetting to do. The litanies, have we done the litanies yet? We did, didn't we? Yeah, you did. Right, so the litanies yet, because they went off on this guy. So he's plus one, hit plus one wound. The minus one to hit for a unit he's picking is going on to um, Kalgar, mm -hmm. which we forgot all game, but that's <laughs> me bad. And then that's it. So we're going to go into the psychic phase. We're going to do Might of Heroes on Kalgar. I want to clear out these blood letters. I'm thinking of Cassius, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll start with the smite. Let's start with the smite. Try and clear some of them out. Five, yeah, goes Let's off. Should be out of range because he hasn't moved, I'm, he's being locked. I'm in with him, I'm gonna let the smite go. Let the smite go, so D3, two blood letters are gone. And then we're gonna do, see I could do the mortal woundage one here, the reason I put that guy there is to eat the smite, the tank, but mm. I think it's past that stage of the game now anyway. Was that two? Yeah, just yeah. two. So we're gonna do Mighty Heroes on Kalgar, because he's a hero, goes off on an eight. Uh, I'll, are you going more? Is that it? No, he's two. That's Great, it. so I'll try and deny that. Ah, you got it. So it goes off, so he's might of hero ed. Something else I want to forget. <laughs> <laughs> right, shooting phase. Let's start where we'll remember. So pistols. Can do five pistols. Uh, three hits. Yep. One, twos. Three, three wounds. Three five ups. 
And a five rugby. <laughs> and then I think are Calgo's rapid fire or pistol now? No rapid fire. Yeah, so they're changing them. I'm sure they used to be pistol. Did they? I think so. He's got a pistol anyway, and he's got a pistol. Yeah. So Cassius will throw a track grenade because it should be equal distance between your demon yeah, yeah. prince and thingy. So hits. It is a wound. Five up. Save. Ooh, it is a save. He fell back, so he'll shoot he can't shoot into them because they're in combat and the demon yeah. prince is closer, so he's done nothing. And the other two guys got bow pistol, bow pistol, mm -hmm. just into their blood letters. A re -roll. Re -roll. I yeah. should have really done it for him because he's plus one hit on twos. You're but again. No, nah, it doesn't matter. So I'll be wounded on a three with a banner guy and a two with him. So one wound. Saved. Another save. Didn't expect it, which uh, they were just little bonusy bits. Mm -hmm. um, Brucey bonus. Brucey bonuses. So down here, yeah, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. There's too many options. Right, this guy's not going to shoot, and I'm going to do two shots at that demon prince through there with the heavy rounds. Yep. So I'll be hitting on twos. Two hits. I'll yep. be wounding on th fives, then fours. Yeah. Because it's the strat. Two wounds. Minus. <laughs> minus, minus. Minus one. Minus so one. Two four ups. And it's two damage. Uh, D it's D3 damage, sorry. How well then? No command points, is it? Big one. Oh, it's enough. Boom, because he was one of my other cards. Yeah. So that is good. Whew, puts me in a bit of a better position. Right, these guys with our rifles are going to shoot the Zangos up the field in front of the repulsor. Yeah. Um, so we've got four hits. Yeah. And we've got two wounds. Two wounds. At minus one, two damage. But it doesn't matter because they're England, so another what? one's gone. Right, we are going to whirlwind them to pieces. Maybe he's not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I would take the whirlwind in my list. It's been okay, but it hasn't been fantastic. Yeah. But that's they're a lot cheaper now, so no wounds. Yeah, he says, and then it does absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. Yeah. Um, they've shot, they've shot whirlwind, thunderfire cannon. Go into that Zango screen again. Not the one in front of the tank. So mm -hmm. 43. That's about, that's 11 shots. Yeah. So yeah, I did say it now, I'd rather have took two Thunderfires. Oh, definitely. But whether they're always worth it or not, I don't know. That's still good. That's pretty good. They all hit. They're yeah. not minus one or anything, other. No. Yeah, Drop dice don't count, even though it was a wound. Um, three to wounds, so four. Four wounds, five wounds. Ooh, four, four this nine. time. Ooh. Right. I think that covers my backfield units. I'm left with the tanks. Oh, there's them little dudes as well in there. They are going to shoot the Zangos. I think as many as I can see are going to shoot these ones. I'll, yeah. let you, I'll let you have a look and whoever can't will shoot something else. So Good. you've got one. Right. <laughs> he, he's going to shoot the Zangos and the other ones will see the other Zangos. Three, one's not uh, shooting anything. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we've got six at the Zangos in front of the Crusader. Go for it. Um, I think the captains should be within six. Yeah, so there's no auto wounds. Looking for fours to wounds, so we've got three. Three, five ups. Uh, two. And then we're re rolling that one. So this is two hits at the Zangos in front of my tank. <laughs> no wounds. Yeah. Again, that lieutenant would have. Was that uh, these ones? No, that was that one. That so I've got ones. one off there or whatever. Two You're, off there. And none off there. there. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I think I'm going to start with the Crusader and I'm going to put all the bolters and storm bolters into the unit in front. And then I'm going to put the assault cannon into them. Is, how many Zangos are left there? Two, four, five. Five, yeah. We'll do the assault cannon into those Zangos because yeah. they're within... The other ones will be in rapid fire range anyway, and they won't be. Mm -hmm. So, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Need another dice. So, we're looking for twos. It's a good job he hits on twos, Kronos. <laughs> we're looking for threes to wound. And sixes are mortals because of his warlord traits. So, so two dead. Two dead. And then two, four, six, eight saves. Eight saves. Uh, additional five. That's squad. 
No, 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 no. That's the assault cannons going into them Is ones. Them? Sorry. Yeah. So put them back. So, that's still so, so two dead, and then so that's the screen gone. That's yeah. what I was looking for. But I've not got much left to shoot now without the screen. And then we'll deal with the stone bullets and little bullets off camera because there could be loads of dice to hit mm -hmm. sixes. Right, so this guy is going to go twin lads into the Saiga and the little Gatla, then all of their guns into these are the only target I can choose because the carrot has. Actually, can I sit in that? Can't even see any of these, can I around here? No. Nope. So it's going to have to be into here. Well, I'll do the last cannons and stuff on camera. Mm -hmm. uh, just the last cannons. Over. For a laugh. So we'll hit twice. Yeah. Three. Two wounds. Five ups. Nope. Feel both. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, he's got six. Feel no pains. Feel no pains. He's got four or five wounds. Four. He's dead. Ah. It double checks. I think. I think I'm sure yeah, it's four, but he might. Four. Right. So anyway, that's good. Cause that's a kill. That's what I was looking for. Kill something. So we're gonna do some charges there. Obviously, I'm gonna try and avoid that creator. So you got a six. Look, we'll go in down here first. Yeah, well, that's a. Boy but I roll the dice because people we have to roll yep. seven. No, yeah, they should be in yeah. with eight. And then I think that's everybody else in, unless I want to do some random craziness. I just want to hide these into the blood letters just to make sure. Oh, I've got them guys there, haven't I? Yeah. Um, well, there's no command points to interrupt us. Cassius is going to go in against the blood letters. He's in. Turn, I'll just keep the dice next to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, everybody else is in. You know what? I will tag the blood letters with them because the objective's around here. It makes no difference, but six, that should be enough to get people in. I was debating bringing the tank right back. Cool, man. I'm going to bring the tank back and I'll tell you why because if it comes back and then you have to come and do something with it yeah. then I'm going to get the re-rolls to hit yeah. for so that's a 6 he's in with an 11 and I'd obviously do try and keep well, I'd, maybe he's I'm, nah I'm not a fuss I want to keep him so maybe he's chuck him like that just so I can still see your characters but be within range of the yeah yeah of Calgo um, so it looks like everyone's going to be in and the Crusader's definitely not going to charge, so we'll go into my attack phase. We had a big conversation about these, because the reason I wanted to charge is they've lost a lot already. They've got 21 at the minute. Ideally, I'd like them to have been 19 before I attack. But if I can get in and kill some of them, then I've got a lot of attacks. The morale could be a big thing. If Ricky rolls another one, he rolls another one. I have to live with it. But getting them right down could be massive, and especially I need to score on Reaper. And it just gets rid of a screen to let us then come around this way and hopefully hop onto that objective as well to really put pressure on Ricky because this one is mine now but well, should be um, and then obviously I'll be holding more I'll definitely kill more I think how many units have I killed two units of Zangos yeah the Demon yeah, Prince is three more. I and the Blood Letter should be dead four and even if you wait two of these I should be four two yeah maybe it's even your Nurglings as well if I'm lucky but um, we'll see anyway we'll move in and see what happens right we'll start with Cassius so you'll be hitting on threes, re-rolling, two hits, you'll be wounding on threes, one wound, one dies. dead. Who was next? The big squad, wasn't it? There's five guys that are charged in. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, plus an extra one for the sergeant, plus an extra five attacks because they're charged. Mm -hmm. Or Cassius gets an extra attack as well because he charged, which he hits, and he wounds. And he saves. Six. So this is the five-man squad. Look at them. Dice yeah. now for five minutes. <laughs> and they can re-roll because Calgar's in range. And I'll have to remember that was a hit. I'll have to remember yes. that Calgar is a minus one to be hit. So they all hit. And Bloodlet has been T3, which is the reason I piled in everybody. Three's the wound. And that's good. That's three, six, eight. Yeah. Eight ones. Ooh. Six, two, four, six. That's just a battle left. Well, I think everyone that's oh, apart from the tank are charged. So you'd have to pile in a bit closer on money. So I'll let you move him in for us. Yeah. Um, he's got no hits, but he can re-roll. He's got no hits on him. So we'll have to go into people that were already in combat. We'll do some hits not off yet, down off camera. We'll just move into who do I want to nominate next? Because they're there. I'll just go Calgar and he'll just step in. Yeah. Um, Tell you what, do you want to just start the series and roll? you, yeah, just take them off and I'll not consolidate closer because I don't actually know who's closer. Probably these. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll do these off camera and go to the Nurglings and we'll come back. Lots. Was the number? That many from these. It's combined from the two units. Five ups. Now Rick has made some saves. He's using my dice. Hopefully they're bad for him. 
I need I need to wipe some here. Five ups. So uh, five die. Yep, that's pretty. That's what I said, didn't I? Kill maybe another five. We said seven. But Did I? It's close enough. I forgot about the minus one though. Yeah. So that actually the hit roll we didn't get it on the hit roll was pretty good. I think I only dropped about four or five hits hitting on fours. Hang on. Really want to do two. Yeah, yeah. So these get the pile in and attack back. Your Nurglings have done it with we'll two wounds off a of base, so they'll get to attack back. We'll let Ricky pile in down here and see what he wants to do. And then obviously morale. I think I killed quite a lot of them this turn. I think. Right, so we've got six Nurglies down here. We've yep. got four down here. So there's the six first, so fours. Two hits. And. That's what you're looking for. The six is double damage, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we'll do the four up, the four wound thingy saved, and the double damage hit is a save. Yep. And then four over there, uh, two hits. Two again, wounds. same again. Yep. So the normal damage is a save, the yep. double damage a is a save. So morale. Sh yeah. morale. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, you know, you know that. <laughs> we rolled before and we're talking about I was like, no, I'm really don't roll, because he just rolled straight. I was like, I'm debating the charge over here. He's like, are you sure? And he rolled a five. And I was like, no, we'll roll again later. And I was convinced you'd roll <laughs> up one. one. So anyway, what that's big, isn't it? Because it means you will lose a little more. Yeah, so that is, uh, well, we said... We said seven you were 21 at the start of the fight phase. Yeah. And then you'd lost some in the shooting phase as well, hadn't you? So it was 16. So 21. It's five, but how many did you lose in the shooting phase? Not many. I've lost 16 total. Yeah, I know. Well, what did you roll before? Five, and you lost two. Yeah, so... So what does that make it? I'll lose... So your leadership's seven, and you rolled a five. Yeah. Right, <laughs> We've got there in the end. We've both had a, a long game. Our brains are knacked. But um, <laughs> Ricky's lost another five to morale or something. Or six, five, six. I can't even remember now. It only six, happened ten seconds six, ago. Six, six. Right, Ricky's saying six to morale. He's still got his Nurglings to attack. He's purposely keeping this guy now out of combat with these because he wants to free him up for the movement phase. Yeah. Um, so obviously they'll probably just all pile in here. Nurglings, uh, one hit. Wounds. Oh, it is. You No, it is. No. Good. <laughs> Good. And they lost the base, but the leadership seven, I think, the yeah, Nurglings, so they can't now. fail yet. Right, I'm pretty happy with that. That puts me in a very strong position, I think. Mm -hmm. um, end of my turn is we're going to Ricky's turn. Four? Is it your turn four? Was that my turn four? four. Must have been four. That was your turn four. four. This is my yeah. turn four. Yeah, so we went to Ricky's turn four. Very limited now on what he's got left. But, um, he's still going to score points though because these guys will get you the engineer's points. Well, no, have you maxed out on that already? Uh, no, I'll still get... I'll be maxing out on turn five. Yeah. Right, going to turn four. The, uh, Ricky's movement is on. These guys have fell back. Demon Prince has moved out. Airman's moved around. Little Nurglings have ran out. Yeah. He's still... You are still on that objective, aren't you, with the other squad? Yep. Yes. Engineers. You're within three of that token. Are you sure? Oh, shit. Right, okay. Yes. Right. So, very limited movement phase. That's the units left. He's not falling back with the Nurglings. He's just going to keep them in combat. So, going to the psychic phase. I think I'm in range. A potential denies. I should be. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like 18 inches away. So, actually, for the first time ever, I'm going to remember this. You are within 18 inches of my banner, so any failed morale, you're a minus one cast. Right. And any failed ones on a four up, you kick D3 mortal wounds. <whistles> which I forgot about every turn when that, wasn't, when the mirror. The mirror, yeah. the mirror would have maybe made a difference, but I don't know. Yeah. Saved mortal wounds on a two. There's just so many layering that. Yeah. Like I said, I'm normally pretty good, but I'm, it's Marines on you. They're so That's new now. They're so that. new. There's so many different. Bits and bits. Aye, so it actually feels good playing Marines. Like you feel, you feel like same before. You still die like Marines. Yeah. But you feel like you can actually hit something really hard. Aye. And people before weren't expecting it, and it's like, oh, actually, Marines do that now. It's like, yeah. um, and like I said, even running in there with attacks, they got so many attacks of the charge. Yeah. or charge. That's so good, Primarch. I don't think there's enough for uh, Chaos Marines to ever be good. Like, but the thing is, they're not going to Primarch them up, are they? And they shouldn't because they're 10,000 years old, but what they should do is bring something out like that's been warped or enhanced I know, by the warp. Well, that with like Plague Marines and. I know. Berser Berser Berserkers Berserkers are still are good. good. Plague Marines are good. Berserkers are good. Ah, uh, it's just delivery though. Well, delivery can be easy. But. 
like you said, you play against the better players, a couple of cheap rhinos and they'll target those rhinos, but going first is a big thing, isn't it? Getting them out, pop your smoke. It. Like your army, you hummed and hard this game, probably not on camera. That decision took you probably the longest time. I think, do I want to go first or do I want to let you? And you knew I didn't have a lot in range. Yeah, I should have went first. But at the same time, your sight, you should always go first. You and need I, to get those psychic buffs off to protect yourself. And, I just totally and as much as I didn't do anything, you've had a pretty bad couple of psychic phases as well. Have. So that's really, I think that goes to show how how massively it impacts your army. Mm -hmm. In the sense, it's like an Eldar army. If one of the sort of dominoes doesn't fall... Yeah, not really. yeah, a little bit. Ah, your punch is gone, isn't it? And then like you've had to come out as piecemeal, which has worked for my list. I've been able to. Aye. I've lost a unit of aggressors and a unit of ten intercessors, which is strong, but yeah. really Aye, should have done a lot more. Yeah. Where you live and learn, though. You do, but it's. It's. I said these are. They're now tricky. Marines are a tricky. I think if the setup, if you've got a, I'm not saying I'm intelligent, right? But if you've got a, <laughs> if you've got an intelligent player with a game plan that can make your game very difficult, mm -hmm. definitely. And I don't even think you don't necessarily need Calgar, but he's good for the CP. But if you're building it, you could just make one a chapter master. Gilliman would have been nice in the list, or a cheap lieutenant. Like I said, I would probably drop the whirlwind, have a lieutenant. Yeah. And I think that's what you need. Like, that's what I do is. need. But that's why Gilliman's good because he fulfills that role and he's also a beast. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be a weird matchup, Marines on Marines. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be probably because the chapter, cool. Once all those little indexes come out, sorry, the little codex supplements yeah, going to yeah. be very interesting. Because at the minute, the Ultra Marines are like very good. Yeah. The White Scores are decent, I think, as well, and can be played very well. They've got some good, uh, some good relics, powers and stuff, and good relics. Powers. Yeah. But I think for you me. See the uh, relic bike. The relic bike, yeah. I like that. I think it's class. But it, I just think the Ultra Marines have a little bit. Their strats, the Overwatch buff one. And they've got a cool strat to auto hit with a weapon. Yeah. Which we've talked about before. You've got people you're going to trick some bond, like an Eldor Fly and all these minuses, and, and you, you can hit with a D6 minimum damage three weapon, yeah. auto hit. That's Magic. gonna really knock something up. Mm -hmm. You do that twice, they're gonna to have to deal with that unit, but you could use yeah. it on, on any unit. Have That's it on nice. a multi melter on a tank and just say auto hit. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, demolisher <laughs> cannon, auto hit with a demolisher cannon, D6 That's actually cannon. Not bad, <laughs> but it's I like it, it's like it's given back. Everybody else's codex had so much stuff. He has your codex and plus he has all these extras. Yeah. And Marines for a long time. That's why people are whinging now, aren't they? Mm. Marines didn't have that. Yeah, but when Marines are good, it's good for the game because everybody's got Marines. The, the Marines should feel like the hardest army to fight. Oh, I think 100%. It should feel like every guy you've killed is an absolute beast to take down. Yeah. If it's going to be true to the story. Then yeah. True to the but then like ultimately demons should be like just billions upon billions of them hordes come yeah. washing over you same with nids and stuff I, I find I find most armies apart from space marines play like the, the should yeah. and then you play they play space marines you're just like why is everything dying I know. why is all this stuff dead yeah. but then like now it's, um, it's they just, improved like. they just lack what they were lacking number four which they've got a little bit now when obviously with the doctrines we're just saying to Ricky as well like because he's a demon army the heavy doctrine and all that kind of stuff doesn't really make any difference. The assault one's more like, it just means I'm, uh, sorry, the tactical one. It's benefit me so I can move and shoot without penalty pretty much. Mm -hmm. Not exactly that. Still a good benefit. But it, it's sort of negative view as well because against other armies, I might have thought of switching to the assault one. Now it's getting to the combat phase for yeah. the minus one in combat, but it's going to make no difference to you. So I might as well just keep it. Keep it as it is, yeah. Keep it as it is and be free to move That's as well. I haven't moved. I had to... Um... It's very versatile that like, you can do stuff like that. That's how Marines should be. I always said, like, imagine a tactical squad. Mm -hmm. A tactical squad, old school Marines, should have in it the ability to harass or take on, not kill, because it's ridiculous, couldn't kill a Titan, but mm -hmm. they should have the tools to take on any unit. Yeah. Definitely. So that, you know, in combat, right, they can run in and go fisticuffs with the Demon Prince. The sergeant could have a power fist. Yeah. Then maybe he's got a missile launcher or a heavy weapon to try and take out a tank. Mm -hmm. But they don't have the wound capability, do they? they sh yeah. That's what they should be. The Marines should be able to... Take any opponent should be right. Well, this could take it on potentially. That, yeah. yeah, definitely. And that's how it feels at the minute. Playing with well, this list anyway, it feels like I've basically I've took guys and they've said right, I'm denying you play space. Yeah. And my stuff's advancing like Marine should do. There shouldn't be a gun line. I don't know. Nah, there should, nah, be it should be coming up and like, smash into you. Yeah. Which totally that's how I've tried to play it. And actually, I'm not saying it's that's the right choice, but that it seems to have worked well mm -hmm. doing it that way. Like being aggressive, playing on the front foot. So, so I've confused you and you don't know what you're doing. Nah, no idea. Right, so a psychic phase, we're going to cast minus one to hit on Harriman. Oh! 
I'll take the perils. It's hard for Doom Prince. So he took a mortal wound. Yep. There, I'll get a wound counter and he's on uh, seven. Next, you'll cast um, plus one in run. It goes. What is it cast on? What? What is it cast on? Uh, I think it's a seven. I'm uh, just looking because I'll take one of this, you'll be an eight, and I get a plus one to deny, so I could deny on an eight. What, plus one in run on Araman? Yeah. So you're on a three. Three up. in run. He's not one of my characters, and I'm gonna leave it. Right. Next, you'll um, you'll do involve them, Araman. Off. It's a ten. Well, nine. It's a ten. Ten, because he's plus one, isn't he? Well, how many powers has he got left? Two. No, I'm just gonna have to let it go. Right for D three and the half that move for three. Yeah, so I've got a marine dead and a half marine. Yep. All right, I'll find a dice. Gift of chaos. Uh, that doesn't go. No, because of the minus one. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And then uh, Firestorm. Yeah. That doesn't go either. So you've got to... It's not, it doesn't make you get a double one, but you fail two psychic tests. Yeah, so... On a so I need to roll two dice, so on four ups. So you oh. take 2d3 mortal wounds, because it's not a perils. It's got a captain. Five, he's dead, isn't he? Yeah. I think he's five wounds, isn't he? He is. <sighs> That's huge. It is. That banner is just so good. It's terrific. That is, I was debating... I know you would lose your doctrines, but I was debating, like... Running that with the assassin, <laughs> right, but that is excellent. Whoa, Ricky, what's going on? <laughs> the wheels have come off officially. Ricky's yeah. gonna tear. He's gonna flip a table. Nah, he's not. Nah, he's not nah, that kind nah, of guy. Nah, angry. Right. No more than anything. Well, like you said, it's you know now. Don't straight away. You said about halfway through this game. I should have took to the first turn. Yeah. I should have. Easy. And that now you know if you come up again, so listen, you're gonna be fucking first turn. Oh, has no, to well, be unless think, you don't get it I think that's, that's like I said earlier there's probably not a situation where I don't want first turn no. I should just take it all and besides time. you know as well like you've not got the guns to damage someone long range so if they want to spend points on prepared positions that's their waste isn't yeah, it like, exactly. right that your psychic phase couldn't have went better for me I'll be uh, perfectly yeah, honest perfect, that was pretty, uh, pretty good I didn't even have to deny <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've had two and a half Terrific. three really bad psychic phases really to be fair it's, it's not too bad with this. There's me old list where it's like yeah, the three like, sorcerers, didn't you? Three I had brotherhood. I had, had like eight psychers, and that was like if the wheels come off that. Yeah. You might as well just give up. You're like, relying <laughs> relying way too much on it, but yeah. it had some output that one. Like mm. to be honest, that's I had that in mind. I thought you'd have like the three to each guys with a twenty four inch smite. No, that's what I was really expecting. I like the uh, I used this because of the uh, triple Italian. Need the CP, really. Yeah. Well, look how much you've burned through it. Exactly. It definitely does need CP. Mm -hmm. Right. Hungry. Shooting phase is now gone. Your only gun in the yeah. game is gone. And then um, attacks with him, and then that's it. Yeah. Any charges? Yeah, and it, uh, everything fell back, and they advanced. Demon Prince could charge, you got wings. Nah, you're alright. You sure? Well, um, if I charge there, everything's going to move over there and shoot him. Instead of <laughs> 100%, him. he's my last dude on my <laughs> card. So uh, I'll just do the attacks with the Nurglings. Two hits. Uh, no wounds? Nah, go for it. Yeah, we'll do the attacks. Oh, hang on. We'll do them off camera. Three, yeah. five, ten. We'll do them off camera. I can't be bothered to hold a camera on all days. Yeah. Turn five coming up. It's looking grim. It's looking <laughs> grim for the demons. Honestly, I could have a whiff at turn five, but I. You probably won't. <laughs> without knowing the codex, I've performed. You know, I had a feeling they performed well. Yeah. But your psycho phases have helped me massively. I didn't expect... you. I probably wouldn't have performed as well. The first two turns were really hardcore, but you're pumping the CP to keep that Nurgle unit alive. Yeah. And I didn't expect them to stay alive as long. I thought I had enough damage output. And they ate 30 auto hit rounds, plus aggressors, plus tanks, plus everything, and they're still there till like turn three. Mm -hmm. That was horrific. And that was you having two, three bad psychic phases as well. Yeah. And you're still, still strong. So anyway, we're going to move in. I'm going to wipe this filth off the board. Well, we'll see. So I think I on. think you'll deal with table you here. Apart from them. Well, I might Thunderfire can or will win them. We'll see. Yeah. They've got options now. That's what I mean. So <laughs> attacks. So the move is done. These guys have moved up again. Tactical doctrine still in effect. Um, the tanks have hopped over. He wasn't on four wounds. No, he definitely wasn't. And <laughs> um, the litanies were did didn't get the plus one to hit, but did get the plus one to wound. Mm -hmm. Was putting on the repulsor. Um, Kronos is there. So you can see these guys have moved up. They're now within six of Kalgar, who move forward. Basically, a push through from these guys. So I've got stuff in line of sight of everything, basically. But yeah, apart from obviously these, but the 
Crusader can now draw a line of sight on these and the Whirlwind and Thunderfire. So we're going to go into the Psychic phase. I think probably best to go damagey here. So we'll go we'll start with a Smite, get rid of some of the screen. We can reroll failed morale. Uh, morale. Psychic test doesn't go off. Nice. Um, do I do might, might of Heroes on Calgary? Yeah, it goes off on a 9. Trying to nope. No, so he's again Might of Hero is. Um, that's it. So we'll go into the shooting phase. We'll do some pistols off camera over there. We'll do some small arms down here and come back with a sort of the meat and gravy, I think, if there's any sniper right. rifles and stuff left. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get some of this on camera. Basically what's happened, everyone's moved forward. They just shot the Nurgling screen. Ricky's calling us worse than shit here. I'm not. You're <laughs> nah, he's not. He's, not. he's, not. he's, he's expecting it, but then he <laughs> got these. So he left the like, last one here. So all these sort of shot. Killed a cup. Um, Cassius did his guns into these because then I'd remember the Nurglings then as I poo. Yeah. So all these shot the Nurglings for the two damage, which left these guys to shoot the Demon Prince. So it didn't shoot with the sword. So I actually got two hits, two wounds, which is a mortal wound in addition with a six. Knocks him down to six. Yep. So he's got two saves to make. Be on. He's passed them both, any? Yeah, yeah. passed them both. So he's good. I had a feeling he might be, but it was just a case could maybe tickle some off and then not have to shoot because this can't shoot him because these are closer mm -hmm. by the tail end. But this is closer. But then we've still got the Nurglings here. But what we're going to do? We've got Thunderfires and stuff at like these. So we'll do Thunderfire cannon at the Nurglings first. Three, four, five. So done eight. Hitting on threes. One on twos. That looks healthy. Six. 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 And then we'll, it's not going to kill him, so we'll do the whirlwind as well. Yeah, cool. Three, three shots. One hit. One wound. Yeah. Five ups. And five ups. Hey, kill So one. we'll kill the base. Right, the repulse, I cannot see the Nurglings, just so people point out why I'm not going to shoot at them. Mm -hmm. So he's going to put all these guns into uh, the Plague Marines. Plague Bearers. Plague Bearers, sorry. Aye. Sorry, Plague Bearers. And then what we'll do, we'll do how many? There's eight wounds left there, isn't there? Yeah. We're going to put all the other guns. I sort of want to punch him to death. <laughs> I really want to punch him to death. Because actually you're probably out of 12 inches. You might want to measure that because I'm not going to be in rapid fire. With the storm bolters and combi bolter. I think you're nerding on your nerglings. He is, he's in. Yeah, out for the nerglings, yeah. definitely. Because what I was saying, a couple of cheeky little ones into them. But um, no, so I'll do... Kronos is going to do all guns into the Demon Prince. He's going to do all guns into these. Mm -hmm. Don't need to see it on camera, do we? He's going to be hitting on twos. He's going to be hitting these on threes. But he's yeah. plus one to wound. So it's going to be a lot of dice. We'll come back with the wounds. Right, yeah. We didn't show it on camera, but that Demon Prince got battered. Kronos, absolutely. Just, I think I got three mortal wounds on all the sixes, but he's got so many shots. I think it was three mortal wounds and like nine other saves. And yeah. you made the first batch of like two or three and then just failed the load. 100%. Um, these guys took a lot of shots from the Repulsa. You can see there's only three of them left now. Yeah. So we're going to go into the end stage of the charge phase. Obviously, this unit's going to go in. They're going to go in. I don't think I can physically reach down here. But in this stage, I'll try and push as many units this way as I can. So, Calgol go in, Cassius, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah. The tanks will go in to get them further up the field yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Any bother? So, we'll just call it dead and just talk it out of your I think day. so. I think that's probably, well, literally, I think these two units have got enough from what they did last turn. Mm -hmm. They'd be dead anyway. Oh, they'd be dead. Definitely. It's only me trying to use the get the movement to hop so that I could actually get in the line of sight of these guys to then get on this objective. Yeah, well, you've only got one turn to score the bonus anyway, so we can just call it score. Yeah. So I, that, get, I get engineers, you get the bonus. Again. And then I will get the points for pick your poison, wouldn't I, for the three guys? Yeah, I've marked that up already. <laughs> right. What that was, was that was nice. Uh, I haven't played in a while. Just come around yours and get kegged in your living room. <laughs> Well, that's really funny. Ricky said, on my list, the bomb. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm just winding them up. It it is, no, it is a good rude. list. We know it's a good list, right? It's just, a, honest, it's had, just a pilot, isn't it? <laughs> you, had, you had three khaki psychic phases. Uh, and to be fair, you know what? I forgot a lot of stuff as well. Mm. So maybe your psychic phases would have been... They were bad anyway. Maybe they would have evened out. Yeah. Having I mean, first turn for me didn't do us a lot of damage, but I did get the... You give a board control, which I was very surprised at, but you'll not yeah. make that mistake again. Nah, it was a big 
Definitely, definitely not. Huge. And the rest of the stuff then it was reactive. And your your army's normally not reactive. It's more like making me do stuff. Yeah. That's how it should be. Like yeah. like. You should have basically Ricky normally goes, he's got a little castle here, so you can't target any characters. Actually, Marines can target characters now pretty yeah. well. <laughs> like I said, I'm hummed and hard about having ten of these guys with the the rifles and then there's a three point strat to target characters. So you, in the first turn you're strength four. Minus two because you're heavy. Still two damage a pop. Good. Still good. Put a litany on them. Plus yeah. one to hit, plus one to wound litanies. Yeah. Cassius. <laughs> exactly. Wound and demon princes on fours. Like, it's you know what I mean? But, but even if you didn't go after a demon prince, I mean, like, God, characters, Tau characters, any, anybody. Tau ones may get their drones, but the shoot shop, oh, get rid still. of You just take the drones out. Yeah, exactly. And then do it with something else. But like I said, the it's reason I didn't. Extra, isn't it? Line of sight, I think, is big and high in these ones, so I see. So. Yeah, I think we needed a bit more on the board. Pro well, I think so. But I think it's the easy we had to add like big RLs, but I don't, it doesn't matter. Like, well, we couldn't see through them anything. I don't exactly, think anything shot through them. And they said, well, mate, the game plan was, especially with that repulse, I just push it up as fast as I could so those 10 guys yeah. were going to be in that strat range. Mm. And I, I'd be honest with that strat, but you pumped in 2 CP to make them 4 up, four up in and one, two and 2CP to re-roll the... re, -roll, uh, re -roll ones on your field. Okay. Yeah, so... And that did save that absolute ton load of them. It does, it does. And 30 of them. If you think of what this list, normally, would a marine list chew through that much stuff? No. Nah. Not, not previous. Death Watch, I said before now, I think my Death Watch could, because the two up wound would have been a big thing. Away. But not if you four went, up wound. If you just went straight up, uh, some of the, I've played some marine lists with something similar, and I don't think marines get through that. Nah, they can take out. It's, I only is they're good at taking out big togs and got plenty of las cannons and stuff. Yeah, but like T four troops got that made all the difference. I, I think, think so. Because like, I wouldn't have been scared of this list, but after playing Michael's Marines and now these, I'm like, oh dear. I think that's <laughs> the good Marines. Well, I, I like the idea they give people a headache. Yeah. So you really, well, straight away it made you think about taking turn one. Normally you'd be like, why did I even think? I would have just took turn I one. Have. So straight away you. have Poop your pants and made I a did, rock, and it's I making. Like, oh, what's he gonna do? And I don't even know all the stratagems. There's so many that one to not get wounded is so good. Try if you've got a big unit, it's so good that strat. And then, even right, or spec scan paired up with the Overwatch buff fire. Yeah. Paired up with that, if you then get in and you've got something like a blood letter bomb where you may have two of them left, or whatever, <laughs> or a demon prince who's absolutely kegging it on one wound, yeah. or a big monster that has to get in, exactly. then you can just run that. And then those big axes that are like minus four AP, but wound on twos, all of a sudden wound on like fours. Yeah. It's so it's big. Bonkers, like, and, and I'll tell you what was big as well, I got out of combat with a mirror. Yeah, that was devastating. Uh, yeah. Like, so I, I, think that would have meant all I don't think I rolled hot or a game. I no, rolled okay, rolled but not average. probably average. Yeah. But I think... You had at least three bad psychic phases. I did. Three really bad ones. And then you killed Ehrman in your own psychic phase, which... That was shit. Man. To be honest, he would have, di he would have died anyway, because I think his tank would have shot him a bit. Died. Would have been the same outcome, but he shouldn't be dying. Nah. <laughs> himself. Not to worry. So what what did you make the final score as we zoom in on um, these honourable marines? So you got... You got... 25-11, Ricky tells us the final score. So he's going to go and smash my models. Yeah, I'm ready to launch this land raider <laughs> next to his garden. Like. Marines are back. That's what I think. Marines are definitely are. back. I think there's lots and lots of options. I didn't have, model-wise, like I said, I'd have liked to use maybe one of those executioner tanks. Mm, yes. I didn't know. Though. Like, would it have made any difference? It wouldn't have made any difference against your list, but against it stuff like against other lists. Because, I, like I said, against other lists, I'd definitely maybe consider putting it in. The Repulse actually this game did really well. Those litanies are strong, man. If they go off. I had to use a CP a couple of times to make sure they did. But Cassius for 85 points. Got to give Michael a shout out to you and like, check him out. Like Just being able to pop two. Yeah. So that's good. The, that's max out the difference that he can do two. Is yeah. it normal chaplain only one? Just one, yeah. And it's a... Th the thing is to free up... Can you take not, multiple chaplains? You can take multiple chaplains, but you can't do a litany that's already been done. Well... Yeah, so you could have like you could have two chaplains do the same thing yeah. like that he's doing, but then you're paying. I suppose that's the problem. That's kind of like camp A that you're always going to go for ultramarines because Cassius has got two, and that's really good. If that's what you want to run, yeah, you don't I necessarily would... need to, nah, but it's nah, pretty nah, strong. Nah. And I think this guy probably should have a name warlord trait. Just not many people are putting him as a warlord. Paragon of war. I know we got it a bit wrong at first, but we'll make sure we got, we got it right. There, yeah. It's not fives and sixes. 
the sixes, unmodified sixes on a wound roll. Bonkers. On that many shots, though. That, that's why I said it. That was probably even better tanks to put him in, but that oh, tank... Yeah, that's pretty good. That, like. tank <laughs> t that tank at 12 inches. It's a good job they got rid of, like, tanks not having the bolter drill, because that would have been stupid. Oh, ridiculous. That would have been stupid. Absolutely. He'd be definitely an auto-take with that warlord trait. So I'm, I'm looking for that to be FAQ quite quickly, Paragon of War. Um... Very good. And if he gets Primarisified, you never know, he might end up in a Repulsor, which would be sick. <laughs> Even more. It's just the dark hats, the amount of dice. Yeah, it's madness. All the sixes that you could And imagine if Gulliman still had reroll all field wounds. <laughs> that would be <laughs> good. I didn't even have a Lieutenant. Uh -huh. I said I, I would have probably put one in, but um, it would have been interesting if I did, because I definitely wouldn't have had the Whirlwind. And that would have given you a bit more gap to get blood letters, so you would have had a bit of space over there to come in and maybe yeah. I'd have been a bit more defensive on my objective at the back. But ultimately the main plan like for everything was to push all the land radar, the repulsa and all that stuff forward. Mm -hmm. And keep the um the infiltrators on the flanks to push out so you couldn't get within twelve and then like I said, it was just about smart play. Like, obviously, you don't see it on here, but measured so carefully every movement phase mm -hmm. for gaps of like 9 mil and stuff like that, and 12 mils. Make sure Ricky, because I, I knew his plan with the Zango was to hop them in with the Dark Matter Crystal, and then obviously have another 20 drop in somewhere and a Blood Letter Bomb. And it was all about making sure there wasn't enough pockets that were big enough to drop those guys in. And then, because these guys could go from turn one, hitting them with a Thunderfire Cannon was really annoying you, because it's like. It's a big hindrance, you know, whenever they land, they can't fight, yeah, they can't make the charge. And it's basically, that's so good. The Tenebrous Curse as well, like, paying it up with stuff like that, so good. Because you can basically do it on two units. Mm -hmm. But, you've got to be on the board, got to be 18 inch away for your Psyker. And I think there's another one now in the Indominus Discipline that, like, it's minus one to the charge with half the movement and stuff like that. Yeah. So you can really hinder assault armies and then buy your time, which is really, it's what you need for Marines. And then let them slam into you when you're... That made the big difference, you know what? I don't know what I was like saying, expecting smite. Mm -hmm. My squads were still pretty much full strength when you come charging in. Mm -hmm. And then when you didn't kill them, each guy's getting like three attacks. Yeah. Or four attacks on a sergeant and stuff like that, which give me boatload more attacks. And against Bloodletters T3, uh, they hit hard, but they didn't last long, did they? No, nah, definitely not. You've got to be... I just didn't have any good targets for them really, like it's just, it was damage control, you know. This and... man's tactical genius. <laughs> 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 nah, what, they, what, not tactical genius, what I knew that, didn't I? What, that's what I was playing for, I was basically denying you the board, denying yeah. you. Because they would have come in and run a muck if they got basically hit us here and just drive through, they would have just churned through stuff, and I couldn't let it happen. So I, I think my game plan went well, I played it really well, it did. didn't deviate, didn't panic, didn't You've been quite humble about it afterwards as well. Yeah, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to see Marines back. I'm going to get tanked off them sometimes, but it's good. I'm just so surprised you give me turn one. I know, I'll beat you next time. Well, not like, but I'm still surprised you give us turn one. I definitely won't be giving you turn one next time. Me and Rob, me and Rick, you always have fun games. Like we saying, the last game we played, which is on the channel, is the um, one where the Orcs fight the Death Guard oh, and a run herd wins me the game. That was, last, that, one? that was the last model I had. And it was like, it was so good. You absolutely battered me that game. Absolutely battered one, us. Uh, wasn't it like one point in it and it was one dice roll? Something like that. We, we, we measured, right? The last turn took like 15 minutes because we didn't really play it. But it was the case that I had a run herd left over here on the board somewhere and he had foul blight spawns, malignant pig casters, <laughs> Derrideal <laughs> dreadnoughts and everything. And it was all about like, if they could move and get in line of sight of him, and then get within 18 inches to cast Smite. Then he was dead. I said, yeah, you'll win the game. And he was like, just out. Like, the Derrideos couldn't draw a line of sight uh, from the move. Out, they were just out. The Psychers even advancing were like two or three inches out of range of him. Uh, he must have just been standing there giving you the fingers or something. Because uh, that was I think, I awesome. Think it was like one dice roll and I was just like, oh. I think it was a psych I needed to get some like a four or something on his advance and you got like a th I can't remember it's there it's on the channel Yeah. it was so much fun that game I'm going to have to get, get me a revenge at some point like that's twice you beat us on the channel is it? didn't you beat did we film the one where you beat me where the death guard and I was tell? no no I wouldn't, wouldn't no. film the ones where I only I beat film you. the ones where I win yeah, no, no. delete all the ones where I beat you no. Ricky has beat us disclaimer of anything <laughs> back in early 8th 
Four had a codex, I think. Yeah, yeah. I had, I had, I had an Index then as well, remember. Two. That was that was another good game though. But that was a game nice. where the Death God really shone. You were making loads of five ups, weren't you, for the thingies and yeah. you just weren't dying. No one killed each other. No, there was no, was like, just, hardly any dead was models. Just objectives. It was just like, yeah, you're sitting on stuff and I couldn't shoot you off. And then, like, yeah. you know, no, just, no, like, it must have been before you had a codex because you did. It was before the tell codex. Neat, neat tricks, no, it? I didn't have any stratagems or all that. I, I think it was, like, right at the start of 8th, that actually. I think it was as the death, you had your death guard codex. Because uh, you had Typhus and all I the did, zombies. I had, I had Foul Blade spawn. Yeah, and you had Foul Blade spawn, but we didn't have, didn't have the tower one, but. I think that was just, it was a good game, it was weird because it was like absolutely battering your bullets and you're like, yeah, I've made all my feel no yeah, discussions, same. yeah, Thank good, you. I'm good. Next, and I was just like, ah! <laughs> I think literally, there was about seven dead models for yeah. the whole game, like five turn game, it was nuts. Right, hope you've enjoyed that one. Hope Ricky fares better in London, really do. <laughs> I don't imagine you'll see many marine lists, so you might see some really filthy I ones. I think you'll see some. Do you reckon people dust them off the shelves and I bring them back out? I think you'll see more marines than you see anything else. <laughs> Personally. Be interesting then, won't it? Mm-hmm. You don't, there's loads of, it depends, I'll probably not see any marines, because I'll be in the... Nah, you'll do alright, man. I'll be in the trenches. you fought them now, you've done the hard work, you fought a marine expert and yeah. myself. I'm yeah. playing like uh, Space Wolves and yeah. Dark Angels. That's what you want. You want the Space Wolf players. Because <laughs> the Space Wolf players are normally nuts. <laughs> they're class, but they're normally absolutely nuts on there. They've got like a just plan like, and just go. Oh, we'll just charge in, man. No, it's fine. Just charge. Just I'll charge you everything. Just charge. I don't want to shoot you because I want to make the charge. I'm four <laughs> inches away. It's like, what do we? Nah, I love Space Wolves. I really do. But they need some, um, they need, need some, some Codex love life. too. So do the Blood Angels. Hopefully they'll all just get, you know, they'll all get the, just a similar upgrades and some really good um, doctrines that make them feel like playing like they should play. Yeah. And that's, that's what we hope for. Marines should be the benchmark. You know, these are the heroes of the 41st millennium. And then the Xenos should have all these weird, sneaky little trick things to do. Which they do. Uh, Chaos should be all powerful because they're the ones who actually follow a real guard. I think they should, but there should also be an element of them that, you know, how orcs are a bit sort of. Not now, but they used to be a bit sort of hit you, like random stuff could hinder you, but it could yeah. absolutely help you. Like chaos used to be like that. Yeah. It's absolutely horrific. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think they should be like extreme, shouldn't they? They should yeah. be. They should go from hot to cold, or turn like them to turn their characters into spawn and yeah. different. If you play it the way the god wants, if you're if you're corn and you're going all bloody and getting in there, I think corn should get like the ability to deny from every unit. They have. The dogs can, but like your blood letters can't deny, can they? No, I'm uh, sorry, corn demons. Yeah, I uh, think so. Because world leaders have got a four up deny. Yeah, I think that's a strat. Yeah. I think it should have that though, but like a bit like flat. temp, temp, flat deny. It's just a normal deny, yeah. Yeah. To uh, help them out a bit and say the brass collar or technically the dogs, dogs. The dogs yeah. of the collar. Yeah. No, that's good. Do I enjoy that? Like I said, I've not played in ages either, and using the new codex. Bit of a headache. Yeah. Wasn't sure on the word of some strats, and what's really caught me out was units, slight little tweaks on units. Uh, like I like had to double check. They like got new. They, yeah, their guns all went up to strength five, but you don't want to overlook. Did the wording change slightly on something else? Because yeah. there's there's a line I've noticed that comes in on some of the mortal wound ones that are like, and then the phase or something, and the sequence ends or yeah. something. I mean, ideally, what should have happened was everything was pointed out there, like what had changed. Not just like he has the new stuff. Yeah. But it's not really how it is, is it? No, no. But it's fine, you'll get there, man. Well, strong. I'm liking Kronos, Paragon of War. That'll be changed by the next FAQ or order. If they see yeah. this video, it will. They'll never, see it. They'll never <laughs> see the video, so I'll just keep running it. <laughs> but um, I do like this game. These guys normally do nothing. Last game against World Eaters, they've got absolutely chopped to bits. Really? It just, well, he's got no droppy stuff, no. Nothing yeah, like that, do you know what I mean? Like so it. exactly. So in this one, they really showed what they can do, but they're not going to be ideal against every list. But having the having the vanguard units now and having a spread out again, it just all these extra tools seem to be getting added to the marine list, and they're not game breaking, but against certain lists, they can really give Use you right. give you headaches, and that's what I like. So I'm gonna pack up now, get some of the drinks, I'm mega thirsty. We'll see you soon. <laughs>